Good evening, nerds. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. I'm gonna be playing more Psychonauts. Hopefully I can get a little bit further. I think Alex is up. <laughs> Hopefully, I was just talking to him. Anyway, that's what's up. I honestly can't remember the order in which things occur in this game, really. Like, I, I feel like I remember each individual little, like, kind of chapter that you do, but not the order in which they occur, really. Hello, Alex. How you doing? I'm, I'm doing spring cleaning, both in my home and with my stream playlist. So, like, I, I have a larger pool of songs that I pull from to make, you know, the individual, like, playlists that I uh, play on a stream. And uh, not all of the songs that get thrown into this pool end up getting played. Uh, so I'm going through and uh, finding some select things that I really uh, probably should have played at some point. And playing that stuff. And then I'll start a whole new playlist, because motherfuckers like over 400 songs at this point. It's getting kind of cumbersome to scroll to the bottom of, so. <laughs> Doing dry bleh, Making a mess with drywall work. I mean, that's, you know, renovations. I, I would file that under spring cleaning-ish. However, you have been doing this for quite some time, so. <laughs> Not really a spring thing. Really, I imagine you're, you're hoping you can, like, finish that soon and actually do, like, a thorough cleaning of your place, which, as you've mentioned, is kind of a wash with dust and debris from various household projects over the course of the last many months. You hope to be done by spring? Good shit. I'm almost done with the hookah lounge. It's very, very close to being done. I need to get uh, something to reinforce the tops of the uh, makeshift tables. They're just like storage containers. <laughs> um, I need like plywood or some kind of composite wood. I don't know. I'm going to cut it for me at the Home Depot or wherever the fuck I go to get it. Um, and then I need a hookah which I have uh, insisted on purchasing locally, uh, which means it's, a, you know, I'm limited to where I can go and what they got and all that, but I want to get a local hookah. I don't want to fucking internet that. <laughs> like to get something nearby. I already checked out my uh, head shop that I go to. That's near my place. They didn't really have anything I liked that much. But, uh, Alex, were you the one that was telling me I could go to, like, a, like a Middle Eastern market and they might have them shits there? That'd be cool. I want a more traditional-looking one. There's some really, honestly, goofy-looking modern ones that I have no interest in. <laughs> like, clear cubes, and they light up and shit. Like, I, not that I'm opposed to things lighting up, sure, but... I want a, like, hookah-y looking hookah. <laughs> Some that'll blend in with the fucking space I made. Yeah, I should maybe see if I can find a place like that. I can't think of, of any Middle Eastern grocery stores off the top of my head near my place, but I don't know. There's a chance that I just uh, have overlooked it. They're often kind of tucked away in shopping centers, not clearly labeled unless you know what you're looking for. All that. Oh, well, I'm planning to just cover the wood with like a, um, I think it's technically a pashmina, this thing I'm covering it with. Uh, both of them, actually. Scarves, I suppose. If you don't want to be so fucking specific. <laughs> the only one you know of is up in Alpharetta. I mean, that's not too bad of a drive. I could do that. I'm willing to go on a quest for the hookah. 
There's also a couple of like larger head shops I could think of that would maybe have a good selection. But I don't want something that looks like a bong either. Like I want like a, a hookah-y looking hookah. <laughs> so I think maybe Middle Eastern grocery store would be the, the first, the first shop, first stop shop rather. Okay, I should, I should start. Let me do that. <laughs> oh my. Deep into menu music. Did I give you- I think I gave you game. Do you have game now? You have game now. Oh, I- I, I gave us a background. If it looks familiar, it's because it's, uh, from the splash screen of my YouTube videos. It's a tractograph. Tractogram? Damn, now I can't fucking remember. Hold on. <laughs> I think tractograph. Yeah, it's a tractograph. <laughs> Been a minute. <laughs> As a bonus, it's attached to a restaurant that has some bomb ass shawarma. Fantastic. This sounds like a very worthwhile field trip. Do you want to do this on Sunday with me? <laughs> I feel like that'd be a good activity. I don't know what the weather's gonna be like. I think it's supposed to be getting shitty on Saturday. I don't remember what I'm doing. At all. Show Sasha my marksmanship learner's permit. Oh, did I get a... Learner's permit? I don't remember how I got that. <laughs> you haven't eaten there in a couple years? Yeah, sounds like a good plan. Yeah, I have Sunday off. My boss is out of town next week. And I guess for whatever reason that means he wants me opening a bunch in addition to just working a bunch. I don't know why he needs me there in the morning. Necessarily. I guess because I know how to do shipment things, maybe. What fucking button? <laughs> there we go. Still, I'm pretty sure like, couple other people on staff know how to do that shit. Like, he's got me opening every fucking shift I work next week. I, I'm going to have to ask him why. <laughs> there, there better be a good reason for it. He knows I'm not really a 9 a.m. kind of bitch. Um, okay. He was this away? I believe? I don't quite remember the whole map yet, but it's not that big. I imagine it'll become more intuitive, maybe. And how do I zoom out? Can I? Maybe it's not gonna let me. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's the right way. So, 
here's something I wanted to talk about a little bit. Uh, just like a little bit of a Disco Elysium postmortem. I saw Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's Girl, cabin. Please. <laughs> so I've had time to like think about it, process it a little bit. Let me get going on the whatnot in here. Sir. I I have my Okay, I got it. Check it out. Excellent. Carry license well, or whatever. My ass is covered. Are you sure you are ready to do <laughs> my this? Ass it is could covered. be dangerous. mind like the coach did? Hmm. No offense, but it's time you saw what an organized mind looks like. Welcome to my mind. Huh. It's Isn't so this empty. kind of puzzly? Uh, I, I mean... Remember. There's more here than meets the eye, but I've learned to keep it under strict control, and that's what I'm going to teach you. Control your feelings, your fears, your anger. You must learn to control them, focus them, concentrate them, and release them. As therapy? No, as firepower. <laughs> Say something hideous and horrible jumps out at you. Something so disgusting that it simply must die. Ah, oh, it's so tacky. I can't look directly at it. But I control those feelings. Focus them, concentrate, and release. And the world is a better place. Your turn. I didn't think it was that bad. Then again, I'd be... I did make that hookah lounge, so. Oh. Well done, Raz. Keep shooting. Well done, Raz. Keep shooting. Excellent. A victory for good taste. Now you must strive for <laughs> precision when targeting. Say you were set upon by multiple attackers. <laughs> But What's you need to dispense with like them in a certain the order. Glass lamps. Eliminate these monsters in the proper sequence, and we can move on to the Here? next lesson. Oh. Oops. Good shooting, Raz. But you are making it harder than it needs to be. You need to <laughs> practice locking your mental focus. It makes targeting and evasive maneuvers much easier. Let's what are you try again. About? This time, lock your mental focus. What do you mean? Gotcha. Good. Again. Good. Again. Now then. No. Is this what you saw in your vision? No. Um, well, it sure seemed a lot bigger in my head. No. Ah, problems often seem larger in our heads than they really are. <laughs> That's an important lesson to learn. But... This is a sensor, an integral no. part of any sane person's mind. The sensors roam through your psyche, no. looking for thoughts that don't belong. Hallucinations, manias, no. waking dreams. The sensors hunt them down and censor them out. No. Why do they come after me? I'm not a mania. Yes, but you are a foreign entity in my mind. You technically don't belong here. Yes, but I was attacked in my own head. Yes, well, the brain tumbler could be malfunctioning. Or you could be insane. We'll test for that later. For <laughs> we'll now, test for that later. blast it. No. Ah, I rubbed my eye. I no. think I rubbed an eyelash into it. Oh no. no. Okay, maybe not. I, I think I'm alright for the moment. 
That's the spirit. I killed it. It was just a thought I was having. And it's not dead. It has just returned to its basic form, raw psychic energy. Go absorb it. It's good for your mental health. As you absorb this energy, your mental health increases. But as you psi blast, you expend your will to do damage. So be on the lookout for these small, dense clusters of raw psychic aggression. Absorb these as well to make sure you always have enough firepower. Now I'll leave the machine on for you so you can practice. You have to blast 1,000 sensors to earn your marksmanship merit badge. Come back every day for practice and you should have enough in as little as three weeks. Three weeks? I only have a few days to earn all my merit badges and become a psychonaut. Slow and steady wins the race, my eager young friend. Now practice, slowly and carefully. Oh, man. Claim. Still not fast enough. Mm, still not fast enough. Okay, I think I get it. So like one thing I wanted to talk about we talk mm, about still not bit. fast enough. Dude? I think because you might have your hands full. This thing goes up pretty high. Where's where is this gauge? Wait, where's my mana bar? Fuck. to Papa. Raz, what have you done? This is not control. This is chaos. I'll try to fix it. You stay here and keep the numbers under control. Way to go, Dingus. You seem to have regressed somehow. <laughs> Like, 
Rasputin, see those valves? That is where the sensors are leaking out. Psy blast the valves to shut them down and get this area under control. Sasha's first loss. Oh. Damn. It looks like she got sick. His mom. Hmm. on this and the car at once. Bag one? Well, I was saying I wanted to talk about uh, like the end of the game and how different that could have looked depending on what the fuck happened in my game. Like for example, you said that because you didn't have Kim at the end, you couldn't really make your case for why you actually solved the murder. Like he was really, really critical to the legitimacy of your entire shit. Already at maximum projection depth. What? Is this for healing? I can't recall. Where's this other damn bag? about that at the time, but for sure. If I had had fucking Kuno, <clears throat> who by the way, I didn't think much of this at the time, I was not the person with the camera in that situation to take a picture of the damn phasma, that was well, Kim who had the camera. Them all. And Kuno does not just carry around a fucking camera. So can you imagine me trying to fucking argue that this happened, that this thing appeared, with fucking Kuno, and, and no photographic evidence. Hell no. One leak down and another springs up. Well, come on, we've got to take care of these too. Yeah, not the best witnesses for sure. Like, 
even even my best dialogue options in that situation were not as good as what Kim was able to put together and tell those folks. All official like. Ow! These ones are mean. Also, I can't imagine I would have gotten quite as elaborate of a confession out of that dude. Shit. Damn, that takes off a whole brain! That takes off a whole fucking brain! Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I don't have any ammo! Shit! <laughs> I thought I saw some health and whatnot floating around down here. I guess I didn't. Oh boy. Yes! You just need two, like, good hits on it. in the middle of a thought, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna die <laughs> if I don't focus a little bit. Another thing is, apparently you can't recruit Kim to, like, join your district. Oh wow, I am almost dead. I am very much almost dead. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I forgot! I bought Dream Fluff! Hell yeah! Thanks, past me! Oh man, those are, those are, those are not friendly. <laughs> I feel like I've found way more uh, tags than bags. I'm 
imagine uh, Kim liked your Harry pretty okay. You, you were, generally speaking, sounds like more uh, more inoffensive as a partner. Oh god. <sighs> Fuck. Than I was. Can't do this yet. Ah! <laughs> Fuck, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I, that's gonna kill me. That retroactively hurts me. I'm fucked. You have learned a lesson here today. Yes, I have. That shooting things is fun and useful. No, that <laughs> once you lose control of your own mind, it's very hard to get it back. Yes, one's thoughts must be 100% controlled at all times. Well, no. Actually, if you try to completely suppress your undesirable feelings, they'll build and build and eventually explode. Oh, so, uh, what would happen if you were to, say, completely block off all your sensor outlets? Well, there would be a buildup of sensor energy within that would, uh, eventually... I mean, that's what he told me to do, you Run know? Run Rasputin very fast. <laughs> like, he maybe should have been more specific. Oh, wow. You are my own creation. I command you to stop. Rasputin, it's time to earn your merit badge. <laughs> a... Okay. Uh, fuck. Enough horseplay, Rasputin. Destroy him. Right. Okay. That's what that regenerates. It's like my my lives. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. The small sensors are feeding into his strength. You I, must I'm stop them. Where? Peel me off and put me down. I'm just trying to get away Destroy from this. Destroy the ass. valves that are emitting the small sensors. Enough, dude. Raz, Can shoot a bitch the get an valves. Eye frame? It's no use shooting the monster wow. until you've destroyed every valve. Dude, he 
he's faster than me, like way faster. speech and learn another lesson no here's your merit badge let us never speak of this again <laughs> let's never speak of this again Okay, just like okay, a enough about my mind. Let's stay out of my mind for a while. Let's just go back into yours, huh? Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. I don't think I have enough ranks to... get the cobweb thing yet. Quite yet. So here's another thing. The more I think about the whole ex-wife being Jesus thing, I want to shoot more things. That was okay, really well okay. done. <laughs> Enough about my mind. Let's stay out of my mind for a while. Let's just go back into yours, huh? Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. Oh, I got to I got to talk to that thing. Okay. Time to face my big diving helmet spitting personal demons. That's the spirit. Did I get another brain? I think I remembered having four. Now I have five. Is that the only other thing that's open? I think it is. Thank you. 
That's it? Hey, where'd it go? Don't tell me I imagined that. Before. Continue pursuit of dream money. <laughs> I hear crying bags. For whom I, I do not I have tags. Tag here. What's up with the meat? Can I jump on the meat? Or bunny. You are my own creation. I command you to stop. Dang. I need to find out if there's any information available about this sequel. They are apparently working on it, so that's cool. Where, where's the punch? Okay. Like, what fucking button? Sorry to say that you have a very serious mental problem. The trouble originates in this area, here. The area that we in the medical profession like to refer to as the brain. You see, son, it's just no good. I hate to be so blunt, but you have the insanity of a manatee. I know. People are always saying that. What do you think's wrong with my brain, Doctor? Well, how should I know? I'm a dentist. But here's what I do know. If a tooth is bad, you pull it! But my teeth are fine. Yep! Mad brain's got to come out, boy! It's the quickest way to cure what you've got. Insanity of the mind! But I don't want to... Sh -sh 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 now hold still. This will only hurt until your brains come flying out. Don't worry, Dogen. I'm coming up there to save you. What is wrong, Rasputin? No time to explain, Sasha. I gotta claim this spooky thorn tower. Oh, man. I'm real close. Getting a fucking level. That will permit me to get... I... Goddamn... What's that motherfucking... The, the one that Luigi has, the, a poltergust. I'm gonna give me a poltergust. And one more level. Yep. I think that's like, yeah, cool. Nice. Yep. 
come near you. The world shall taste my eggs? Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. The fuck? What? It's like a, like a chicken or something? Chicken rides a fish to the fair, rides teacups, blasts other carnival goers. I am. Oh, what the hell was that? I'm seeing some crazy stuff in here, Sasha. This can't be right. Ah, uh, why did I buy the cheap brain tumbler? <laughs> Sound like something you want to cheap out on, really. Did I kill it? I think so. Can I, like, I, I'm telling you, I can bounce on one of these meats. I just don't remember which. Be those meats? Maybe? The glowy ones? Maybe I'm full of shit, I don't know. Hey! Ugh, there's no way to get any higher. You must use your levitation power. I don't know how to levitate. I had no idea you were at such a remedial level. Hey! Lucky for you, we have one of the world's foremost levitators on staff. Agent Mia Vodello, the mental minx. Precisely. You'll need this oarsman's badge to reach her at the docks. I'll try to determine where this interference is coming from. Return when you've earned your levitation merit badge. Okay. I remember this one. This is a lot of fucking fun. But, first, yeah, I gotta get my fucking poltergeist. Yeah, next time I play through Disco Elysium, I don't know if the, the character that I had in mind if, if Kim would like him as much, that might be a, might be a harder sell. <laughs> well, I don't know if he has to be any like more shitty necessarily. Just gonna be more like rudish. Is he just gonna be like in the corner with his question mark until I do this? I can't remember where the nearest, uh... Wait, no, no, no. That's not where I want to go. I'm just trying to find a fucking... ...tunnel to his shit. I don't remember where the closest one is. necessarily gonna be like upset with me for beating Measurehead's ass for example. I feel like he would probably be fine with that. Where would you like me to take you Agent Crawler? Let's go to Ford's, I mean my sanctuary. Yes noble psycho master. In 
recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility. I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for telekinesis. <laughs> With telekinesis, yeah, we can use our hand. minds to grasp an object and then throw it. Go ahead, try it yourself. Uh. Grab it. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, good throw. Now, let's see if you can make it through the hoop. You sound like my dad. Hey, I've been thinking about that. Why'd that guy hate psychics so much? What do we ever do to him? Well, psychics killed his whole family. Cursed them and all their descendants to die in water. Whoa. Yeah. Talk about baggage. Tell me about it. And the weird thing is, I'm pretty sure he's actually psychic himself. Ha! Huh. Cuckoo! Well, you can work on him when you get home. For now. Oops! Great shot! Let's see you do that again. Through the hoop, Rasputin! Bingo! Okay, last one. <laughs> B, the trash can. Now, let me show you something. Pick that trash can up and aim your toss at the side of the caravan. The caravan side, Einstein! Kablooey! Throwing something against a wall is a little more destructive than tossing it around on the ground, isn't it? Oh no! Another one of my senses! Now how'd that get in here? Looks like we're in luck. He doesn't see you yet. Why don't you smash him on the head with that handy trash can? Come on! Use telekinesis to pick up the trash can and throw it at that sensor. Very nice. Now, <laughs> set me down easy and go pick up something that won't blow up your head if you make it mad. <laughs> Not sure I'd ever done that before. <laughs> Bullseye! <laughs> Looks like the trash took him out. <laughs> Next lesson, we'll work on your snappy one-liners. Yay. to make a new side challenge marker. Okay. Yep. I bought a shit lot of cores though just so I wouldn't run out for a bit. Yep. I would hope that a sequel to Disco Elysium would focus on at least some of the same characters that I could understand why they would maybe want a different protagonist. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? Although, if you were gonna have Harry in it as like an NPC, that might not be right. Because everybody's Harry is kind of different, potentially. I mean, I guess there was something of a consistent story there, but... Drop me outside the main lodge. Oh. Ring Still, back I a feel like that would be time, tricky. Will you? They gotta have Kim at least, though, right? I'll be so sad if that's just the only game I ever get with Kim in it. I don't think I can deal with that. <laughs> I'm 
Kuno. We gotta have more Kuno. <laughs> but you could have new characters in that universe. Hey, anything and new in the store? Make it good, Take a certainly. Look. Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Take that into someone's mind with you. You can clean up. They're happy to be rid of the webs. And you can turn them in for psi cards. I'll take it. All righty then. <sighs> All right. Yay. What else can I do you for? Now with that high, now here's some now. Mm, I need another one of those. Sucks. Delicious, nutritious, and cheap. Each one is packed with concentrated mental health. You shouldn't I'll go anywhere it. with... Alrighty then. What else can I do you for? Mm, now, it's now with that. Ah, now here's something what every young Psy cadet needs. D tell me what it does. Damn it. It looks like a merit badge, but like, you just buy one of those. And with that, you can change now. Mmm, okay, dream okay, fluffs, okay. delicious, nutritious. All right, go get more airheads and come on back. Support your local. <laughs> I would kind of like to get another one of those. The dream fluff. That might be good. I don't really feel like going arrowhead hunting right now, though. I did a whole hell of a lot of that before. Um, she's by the lake, if I recall correctly. They really managed to accomplish a lot of, like, world-building and vibe development in that fucking game. Even though there were a lot of good characters. It's not dependent on that. And, like, the writing talent is there such that I would trust them with, like, a whole new cast, but still. I don't know. I'll certainly play it, whatever the fuck it looks like. Yep. I would say I, I trust this particular development team to handle this. There's gonna be a bear in here, huh? <laughs> I don't know if I'd been through there yet. Dogen, are you okay? I had the strangest machine-induced dream about you. TV? Well, first of all, Sasha Nine invited me down to his secret lab, and... TV? He's completely brainless. The dream was true. Dogen, don't worry. I know where your brains are. They're in... Like this crazy dream thorn bush straight jacket tower place. Hacky sack. You go to the TV lounge. I'm on the case. Hacky sack. I just need a little more advanced training to prepare. <laughs> so, TV and hacky sack. Those are apparently brainless activities. Oh, <laughs> uh, hacky sack's yes. hard. Murky down there. Try to do that shit? Hey, Elton, have you heard anything else about that thing in the lake? Huh? Oh, not really. The fish are kind of going crazy about Bobby and Benny over there torturing anything that swims too close. Oh, somebody should do something. Yeah. Well, I suppose I could go talk to them. I think she's like over there. I'm not I'm sure just how asking. else I'm supposed to get over there. I straight up cannot go in the water. I will die. I 
get like murdered by a water hand or something like that. What are the chances that if I ask nicely, you two will stop messing with those poor fish? About as good as the chance that if you say one more freaking word to me about fish, the fire department's gonna have the jaws of life, my fist, out of your mouth! So wait, does that mean you will? I will punch you. That's what that means. I am the hideous, hulking lungfish of Lake Oblongata. I can breathe air and love to eat the brains of little boys. <laughs> Don't make me go get my fish friend. Hey! Hey! Look at me! Fish! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Man? Can I use this boat? Hello, children! I hope you're all having a happy and safe summer day here at Whispering Rock. I just wanted to tell you that we are having a party out here on the floating dock, and I'd love for you all to come. It's levitation training, baby, and it's fun, fun, fun! Just grab a canoe and come join the party! Okay, can I get on that canoe now? That was rad! Thanks. You're pretty rad, too. Wink. Okay, if you guys need me, I'm gonna be studying levitation with Mia Vodello. The mental minx. I'm gonna see if I can get in the canoe now. We shall see. Okay. First class. Hey, it looks like all those weeks in the canoe simulator really paid off. Uh, yes, sir, Admiral, sir. Well, let's get you a float. How did I get that shit anyway? I don't Fire even fucking remember. Fleet. I'll take good care of her, sir. Oh, that I just lake had to isn't talk as peaceful or as harmless as she looks. <laughs> now, don't take her out too far. Don't be late. Levitation class has already begun. Come on out to the floating dock before the party is over. How do I fucking steer? I, I'm just gonna not worry about that right now. <laughs> What am I paddling exactly? Like, I don't have an oar. I don't have anything. Okay. How do I get out of the boat? Contact with your father, and he's going to be here tomorrow to pick you up. 
my father? I want her whole oh, go, outfit. Go. The race is starting. Lily. Oh, hey, Raz. Listen, I made you something. It's kind of stupid, but... They stole Dogen's brains. No, he's just like that. He's I had a nightmare like where this that. mad scientist guy said he was gonna take them out. And was it a creepy looking freak with a shower cap and a stainless steel three pronged claw? Hey, that's my nightmare. So it's not just me. But how? And why all the meat? I don't know. But I think it's time I find out where this is coming from. Let's rendezvous tonight at the old boathouse for debriefing. This is so cool. Yeah, it feels like that time in True Psychic Tales 314 where... Shut up! <laughs> She's like 10 or whatever, so I, I could forgive it, but debriefing is something you do after a thing. You, you brief before a thing and debrief after a thing. Agent Vodello, I have been ordered to report Look here at for the levitation boots. training. I've already done the coach's obstacle course. Look at the boots. And Sasha showed me how to shoot. You know, I'd expect that sort of recklessness from Orso, but Sasha? Agent Nine said you were the most powerful levitator the Psychonauts had. Sasha said that? Really? I didn't know he noticed. Well, you know, I only work with the best teachers. Flirt! Okay, let's party. <laughs> Outfit as a cosplay. I just want to wear it and Where go out. Mm -hmm. Oh, TV, of course. Want to Where unironically wear that entire to... outfit. I mean, look at my hair, darling. How can hair this fabulous not be on TV? Now, darling, the best way to learn levitation is to just try it. I'm going to give you a levitation learner's permit. It will only work while you're in my mind. After you finish my course, I'll give you the real thing, baby. First, you gotta show me you know how to use it. This shit is so fun. I'm sure I'll be whining and screaming about it within minutes, but right now, it's gonna be real fun. Now, yeah. bounce on up here and follow me, darling. There you go. Now, for this last one, you're really gonna have to fly. Once you get up in the air, try using your thoughts as a balloon to float. Just jump for those rings as high as you can, and then do your side float. Don't be afraid, darling. side of the party and I'll give you that merit badge for real. Never keep a girl waiting long, young man. <laughs> Stay on the ball in here, Rasputin, if you want to get higher. And see if you can get all those rings spinning, Mr. DJ. It looks fucking cool in here. sugar in my bowl, darling. Now just follow the flowers, won't you? And try to stay rolling at all times. That is the theme of this party. <laughs> Sounds like a good party. No, no! 
no, please. Ugh, fuck. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, my. Oh, I lost all my fucking momentum. No. Man. God damn it. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I said that within a few minutes I would be complaining about it. So this is how DJing works? Yes, apparently. Don't you want this? Like, I want the lights. I want the flowers. I want the everything. I just want to live here. <laughs> God damn it. I was about to complain about the controls being floaty with a straight face. It's levitation. Somebody call Dua Lipa. We're levitating. Fantastic! What Yay. style you Man, have, I was young so man. close before. No, I'm not saying that you will fall, but it. if you ever did, I'll put a ball return down here for you. Just jump in there if you need to come back up here in a hurry. Thank you. Darling, float over here, will you? These rings aren't spinning and they are ruining my party. <laughs> Remember to use your side float. I'm not saying it won't ever let you down, but it will let you down nice and slow. <laughs> this guy needs a duffel bag tag. Oh. Did I not get the duffel bag tag, I guess? Thank you, sweetie. I feel so much better now. Come on, let's take it a little higher now. Ooh, look at the crowd. Things are starting to pick up. Yep. See that draft up above, darling? Jump into it and float and see what it takes you. Look around for that duffel tag. I'm not seeing it. Oh, no, no, no! Holy shit. No! great too. Automatically ball. Oh, hey, 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 hey. How do I dust you? 
Do I have to get, physically get the thing out every time I want to fucking use it? Can't get a good grip. How do I fucking? Where's my damn items? I feel like I have pressed every button. Can't get a good grip. Here we go. Yes. Got it. Uh, fuck. It's like maximally obnoxious. I hear a crying bag. There. I want to help. No. Get up there. Maybe if I just play the goddamn game. This decor is fantastic. You're just reminded of how much you'll hear that during this game. You can't get a good grip. Yeah. Frequently. Okay, now I can't hear the bag crying anymore. I'm losing my mind. Yes! Yes! God! <laughs> Alex, I take it you've not played the sequel yet, right? If you had, you did not tell me about it. But I wouldn't want to know much about it anyway, so that would make sense. Thank goodness. <laughs> You've not played it? I wasn't saying thank goodness to you having not played it. More like happy to have a ball return. I imagine you might have been waiting for me to stream it, which indeed I will. I think the next time it goes on sale, I'll just get it for whatever it goes on sale for. It's cheap enough. Uh oh, I I I see what I needed to do. I fucked up. Okay. Uh so I need to jump onto the rail. Ooh, nope, 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 nope. run around holding this then doesn't look too dumb hey be free little bag this is just like
like cuddle it in its mouth? That was strange. I mean, I guess that's just how luggage shows affection. Maybe I shouldn't be so judgmental. I'm not sure where to start the grind here. Just anywhere in particular? Like, it kind of seems like I have to abandon the ball. There we go. wait for it to come back okay wait no get on the Mia, Mia's adventures. Fighting crime, apparently. Look at that, like, snidely whiplash looking motherfucker in the top right. Ooh. Damn, I want that outfit too! Look at her! He's not looking half bad either. That's, that's quite a hat. Every outfit. I want her entire fucking wardrobe. Shit. The bikini. Also cool. Is that her, like, some kind of, like, cat suit situation? Is that the president's brain? What is happening here? No touch. Look at the gators. The fuck. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. She like him. I didn't get the idea the inverse was necessarily true, but I don't. I also don't get the idea that he'd be the kind of person to be like advertising that either. <laughs> out how to like build momentum and shit yet. not 
seem to be terribly helpful. What am I doing here? Game. Oh. God fucking damn it. When you are levitating, you are also protected from all sorts of icky things. But some things, like those spikes, those are always bad news, whether you are levitating or not. So watch out. Hmm. Oh, that right. That shouldn't be happening. Darling, do you have some problems with water? <laughs> do you want to talk about it? Uh, it's a long story. Maybe later. Okay. I'm always here for you, darling. Let me just say that it's very normal for boys your age. <laughs> oh. Shit. Come on, get on the. <laughs> Less than graceful. No! <laughs> That's probably where I'm headed. Luggage. I hear it. I cannot see it. <laughs> How did I not take damage just then? How? How on earth? Okay, so there's a platform there. Can I get on it? Okay, cool. Good. What is this? No! <sighs> Needless. It was already hard. Why? <laughs> God damn it. Okay, so I need to... Well, then it's gonna knock me off no matter what then. Right? to jump over it while it's okay 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 I think I get it bag I'm sorry see 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 it's all the way up there holy shit how much do I care about saving that bag Bobby Zilch. We're racing? Okay, it's time to see how fast you are, darling. Ready? Get set? Go, baby, go! I feel like I missed something. <laughs> but, alright. Let's 
feels too easy so far. <laughs> I'm like concerned. Bobby Zilch. Shit. Still ahead. Still ahead. Yeah, nerd. You did it. You are quick like greasy lightning. I'm so proud of you, darling. You're so fast. You'll be at my party in no time, eh? I had to if do that more than once action, when I played this you're before. You're going to have to do a lot of floating in this room, baby. Good thing you're so light on your feet. Bubbles! I wish it were possible to make multicolored bubbles without then making a bunch of multicolored stains all over everything. That is indeed kind of a bummer. Okay. What? I I Can I go this away? Okay. Okay, I can't. You <laughs> can't do that, apparently. God damn it. Uh, me and Nick finally beat Baldur's Gate. And I'm like sniffing around for another game like that that we could do. I think this game has a sequel, like a direct sequel, a Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2, which I do not have, unfortunately, and I'm not sure if it's going to be as easy to get a hold of as the first God. one was, <laughs> which again, I think I got that in like a bargain bin situation quite some time ago. That was, uh, man, that might have been like 10 fucking years ago that I picked that up. It was kind of like prime time for getting cheap PS2 games. At this point, it's, it's kind of, god damn it. It's unfortunately more like trying to locate something akin to a classic game. Like it's getting to the point where that shit's getting kind of expensive. I could try emulating it, I suppose, but I don't know how that would work with, like, multiplayer. If you float in some areas, oh my goodness. you might get a little more oomph than usual. I haven't saved in a while. <laughs> I recommend that we play uh, Champions of Norath, but that's in a different universe. I think that's a... It's like an EverQuest game. They wanted to stay with the D&D shit for the moment. Which, yeah, you know, I'd, I'd prefer to, like, finish this out. At least in, in so far as this particular series goes. 
I don't know if there's any other, like, Forgotten Realms specifically games. Could be. Seems it was a pretty popular setting for making these fucking things. That's what Planescape is set into. Forgotten Realms. Now you're going to have to use your cyclot again to get those rings spinning. Which rings? Oh, okay. But I hear a bag. Where, where is bag? Oh, it's over there. It's over here, though. What's all that? Yeah. Oh, aggressive capacity increased. Neat. glance there was no fucking way I was gonna find that game for like five bucks like I did before never went through nights as forgotten realms uh probably was that a ps2 game I think I told you I played a never went through the MMO that came out years later was he was he fucking Bobbing his head. I swear. Maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not familiar with Never Went Through Nights at all. Does it have a co op? Hey, there she is. Oh. I gotta figure out which one to do. It's <laughs> Ross Putin, the rolling rock star, in the flesh! And just in time, the party was dying without you, darling. Here, I have a little party favor for you. Yeah! MMO was a lot of fun. Don't be a stranger, darling. Thank you, Agent Vodello. Now it's back to the lab to save Dogen. Dogen's not in the lab, sweetie. He's watching TV in the lodge with the other children. I meant the dream Dogen from my brain tumbler vision. If I can find out what's happening to him, maybe that would give me a clue about who stole real Dogen's brain. Oh. I'm afraid he's just like that. <laughs> That's fucked up. Ooh, I got six brains now. Cool shit. Never went through nights is something that I could play with him. That'd probably be cool. 
I remember pretty little about that MMO nowadays. I remember what it looked like, roughly. Uh, tell you what was the most memorable thing was the player-made dungeons. Holy shit, was that wild? <laughs> they really gave you a lot of freedom to just do fucking whatever. And you got a lot of creative people interested in D&D stuff. And you got some really, really, really fucking interesting stuff in that. That was probably the best part of the game. The stuff you could do, like, in the game, uh, you know, that was programmed into it, was also cool, but definitely the highlight of that game were the player-made dungeons. I'd never really seen anything like that in a game like that. <laughs> The fuck was that about? How the hell do you want me to get up there? Those guys just left all their stuff out here. I wonder what happened to them. I can't remember who was there before. I guess now that I can levitate, I can get up things more. Sunset's beautiful, isn't it? Oh boy. It? Oh fuck. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> I think I do want to sniff around for more arrowheads so I can get a different color ball. Not that the orange doesn't go with Raz's general color story, but... I want a purple one or something. I was I was getting up there before I fucking like glitched out. It's floaty. It's very floaty. I know it's it's levitation, but shit floaty. What do you go? We got a couple of big promotions for the winner. I'm thinking I'm maybe just not supposed to get up that way. <laughs> I mean, I was able to get up there before, right? Like, into that... that thing? So if I climb up there, maybe? I don't know. I'm assuming they drew my attention to those it works on the roof because I gotta go over there. No. Yep. God damn it. <laughs> I could think of a couple other co-ops I'd maybe want to do with him. I kind of would like to play It Takes Two with him. I think he'd enjoy that. Maybe not, though. I don't know. That is pretty... Actually, no. I don't think he would like that. <laughs> so he gets, like, vertigo from 3D platformers, basically. Is that just a whole rank? Yeah! Cool. What are you guys doing up here? Oh, hey, Raz! Didn't see you there. We're just looking at the sunset. Shh, just wait until he leaves. 
Yeah, I don't think I don't think you'd go for that. <laughs> so, here, birdie, birdie. I don't know why I need to lure the bird. So I guess they suddenly don't want me around. They're they're kind of they're kind of sus. I don't know what their fucking deal is, but they're kind of they're kind of fucking weird. It is, it is a nice sunset, isn't it? Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We... Uh, I think I'm supposed to go this way. I fucking love the Portal 2 co-op, but I don't think he'd go for that either. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. I don't know. Not really a big puzzle game person. struggling to think if I ever fully beat the Portal 2 co-op with anybody. I was doing that shit with Worm for a while, but I don't think we quite got to the end. Am I fucking... Okay, what? as soon as I'm done with these tests. Really? <laughs> uh, okay, where did you, where'd you autosave me though? Yeah, I guess. If it's it, it's probably okay okay thank goodness <laughs> like please do not have saved after my little glitch load pretty pretty please okay I'm a certified limitator now ready to roll hmm I've been running some tests. It seems that the sensitive circuitry of the brain tumbler is picking up too much psychic interference to be safe. The thoughts of some other entity are interlacing with yours at a dangerous level, which explains many of the strange things you've seen. I must call off the experiments until we know more. Sasha, there's no time. I think my vision about Dogen came true. I'm worried it's gonna happen to the others if we don't get to the bottom of this quick. But we don't know where the foreign projections are coming from yet. Is there a faster way to find out than sending me in there to investigate? I guess that's where I'm going? Rasputin, darling, what are you doing back here? But just came to dance. Is that okay? Of course! The party never ends in here! Oh, wait, I was Roll supposed away. to go back. I'm going to be in another part of where my mind, attending a party I'm having with some old memories. But you have fun here. <laughs> 
Not much to do here except clean up all the cobwebs, collect all the figments, and get any vaults that are left. Use smelling salts to exit this level. Okay. You got it. Man, these things smell terrible. Am I sure I want to do this? Yes. Yes. I want to go back to the real world that badly. I have never smelled smelling salts. I do not know what they smell like. I assume it's okay. very not good. I'm a certified mm -hmm. limitator now. Ready to roll. Hmm. I've been running some tests. It seems the thoughts of... Okay, okay, so it's just that, okay, understood. until I have to. That's the thing I have to bounce on. I swear I remember bouncing on meat. <laughs> I, I, I have a memory of this, I swear. Pesky brain, here's a tissue. Now, don't you feel better, my dear lad? TV? Of course, right here. And this bad tooth, we'll just drop it in the old garbage chute. Now, don't you sell it foods for six hours. Six hours? Lily. No. shoots.
Man, I am so yeah. smart. Okay. Soft gelatinous underbelly? Here I come. Come on, aim, boy. window is so narrow.
Nightmare? Or a plan? Or both? Wait a minute! Rasputin, I'm sorry. I had to abort the experiment. Something unbelievably urgent has come up and I must leave immediately. I know! You'll never believe- Hold that thought. In a rush. Official Psychonaut's business. Wait! So is this! Official Psychonaut, eh? Hey? You forgot your- Hmm. <laughs> Are the doors specific hey, to the mind? Like... Room. I know. It's from Oleander's mind. I think I was in the coach's dream that whole time. Ever since I stepped through the static in the caravan, it felt funny. I knew I wasn't obsessed with meat. But Mari is. And was stealing psychic brains to arm a fleet of deadly tanks, apparently. I've got to tell Lily. She's waiting for me down by the boathouse. Down by the... water? Uh-oh. Better hurry. No. <laughs> Stairs, my mortal enemy. Not being terribly talkative this evening. I don't feel so hot. M menstruating. Also, I'm kind of a relatively difficult shift at. Whoa! 
What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What in the whole fuck? I forgot about the goddamn mountain lion or whatever. This is the wrong way. This is the wrong way. I'm not trying to fuck with you, mountain lion. Okay, yes, go into the... to get more green fluff right now, unfortunately. Explain. Still punches him. Jeez, Even entirely like brainless. You got a bad cold. Maybe, but listen, I traced the psychic interference back to Coach Oleander's radio. He's been broadcasting his insane plot all over camp in his sleep. So he's really kidnapping children and stealing their brains to make weapons. Yes. Isn't that great? What? How is that great? Because this is an honest-to-goodness psychic emergency! And Sasha's not here. He left on some official psychonauts business. Mia left a note saying the same thing! Lily, a deranged man-man is building an army of psychic death tanks to take over the world, and there's no one who can stop him, except for you and me! Oh my god! Let's make out! Uh, what? <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> I'm just so excited. Since you showed up, Raz, things are so much more exciting. Sinister death plots, mad scientists, hideous monsters. Make out? How long have I ignored what this camp had to offer? Everything's new to me now, thanks to you. I mean, look at this flower. You mean, like, kiss? How many years have I been coming here and I've never even noticed a cool flower like this before? Oh shit. Oh no. You it's the angler just fish. Hit my boyfriend. Lily! It just ate her. Let's get him! I can't. I can't swim. Well, then use the bathysphere at the end of the dock. Quick! While the flipper prints are still glowing. Are you coming? I don't know how to drive that thing. Uh, I can't. I have to, um, uh, check on the other children. Yes, yes. If the brains are out, they'll need supervision. And possibly refrigeration. And how can you not know how to operate a bathysphere? Haven't you ever been to summer camp before? I'll get a move on before that girl gets overly digested. <laughs> I think I might want to take a break here. I reckon. Seems like a good time to do that. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I'm trying to think of something I can yammer on about. <laughs> I can have some energy about. Um, this gonna cooperate with regard to mutant itself here. Looks like yes. Well, the the issue I encountered was uh, I wasn't able to just restart shit. 
like my audio interface to fix the horrible robot sounds problem. <laughs> that is an issue. Uh... Oh yeah, I gotta go fetch another song from my playlist. Hold on. Let's see if this, this shit's on streaming services yet. The video's up. I'm just trying to play the song, though. I don't know if I can do that, though. It might not be on a little streaming service here. Uh? Wait, I think this is it. Okay. Yeah. We're good. Pretty sure. I want to see the video too, but if I'm like if I'm just playing it for the stream, I just want the audio. Okay. A yeah, uh, Dua Lipa and Megan The Stallion collaborated on a song. I've not heard it yet, but I have enough faith in it to uh, play it blind or deaf, as it were. <laughs> like it can't suck. It can't suck. Like, maybe I won't be crazy about it, but it can't suck. Like, it, it's just math. <laughs> so, here we got that, and the two other songs that, uh, frankly, probably won't complement it that well, but they're good, and again, I just had them kicking around the playlist at some point here. It got added, and I'm just trying to clean it out, play the good shit, along with this a uh, brand new hot off the presses track that just dropped at midnight <laughs> by a, a two of my favorite mainstream artists right now. So, okay. I'm gonna take a break. Be back in a few minutes. Enjoy the uh, variety <laughs> of music I have here. I will be back. Uh, hello. I have returned. I was fucking mad cute. That was really cute. I liked it. It was sweet. <laughs> Which I guess is the fucking point. Some of the fucking candy puns in there, dude. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, I, I can't wait to go back and listen to that second verse in particular. <laughs> Holy shit. There you go. I, I do believe that marks the first time I've ever played a song on my stream without having listened to it. Uh, I guess with the exception of like some of the classical shit I played that one time, I'll, I'll admit to not having listened to the entire fucking half hour of... Rachmaninoff or whoever the fuck I cut off. My bad. <laughs> but other than that, that was good. And also the music didn't, it, it went okay. That was, that was an okay block. That <laughs> was coherent enough, certainly. That was fucking real cute. Yeah, I was just, if I didn't play that, I was just gonna be wanting to, like, end the stream early so I could go fucking listen to it. Because <laughs> I had to know how the hell that was gonna go. It's, it, like, it managed to be, like, somehow the perfect fusion of, of both of their vibes. Which I, like, I didn't know how they were gonna make that work, but they did. It was great. It was fucking great. And it's it's pretty hard to get me to like a like a, a, basically like a raunchy food song. I that's that's usually that, that's a that's a high bar to hit for me. But if you have a good sense of humor about it, you know the cheeky is there. It's not too serious. Perfect. <laughs> Justin Bieber, take notes, <laughs> like for fuck's sake. 
All right. Let me get back into words. Let me get back into the game. Uh, I was tempted to just like restart my shit just to do it, but I then I remembered I can't. I, I, one does not simply do that with Psychonauts, it would seem. <laughs> or at least I was struggling with it last time. There's a chance I was just fucking not doing it right. Uh, I took Sudafed fairly recently. Uh, that, that's another thing. I'm like allergy addled right now. So I've got like period head fog, allergy head fog. <clears throat> Excuse me. I did take some Kratom earlier. That uh, certainly does not sharpen me <laughs> in any manner. <laughs> That's the other, like, lame thing about uh, opiates for fun. Like, you're just numbing yourself. Which, okay, granted, uh, dissociatives. But dissociatives are more than just numbing, I would argue. <laughs> But, yeah, opiates are, they're, they're not, like, it's just not a productive use of, of drug. Like, it's just not a productive drug. It's, it's a tool that you should use to treat pain. And outside of that, it's not something you should do for fun. Really. But, uh, I was having a resurgence of my menstrual cramps, and I still wanted to stream, so I'm like, okay... It might make me even more groggy than I otherwise would be <laughs> under the circumstances, but if I didn't stream tonight, I wasn't going to be able to until uh, Monday. I do believe. Okay. Uh, hopefully the background's alright. <laughs> Figured... Tractograph would be fine. I didn't feel like making a whole new background for this, mostly because I didn't really know what I would put in it. I figured Rainbow Brain was fine. Also, I can look at it and uh, feel bad that I've not made another video yet, and it'll motivate me to do that, maybe. <laughs> like, script's pretty much done. I reckon that's about as good as I'm gonna get with the tone of it. I might add some more shit. Just thinking about it a little bit. But it's it's nothing that would take me too long to add. Like research intensive, really. Neverwinter Nights is just a computer game. So I, I guess... I think I see a piece of teriyaki salmon jerky over there in that clam. Why don't you go eat that instead?
but uh, yeah, it is set in Forgotten Realms. That is true. tried VR at least, right? I feel like Ethan would probably have some of this shit. I've done that twice now, I think. Both times it was not for terribly long. No one gets hurt, fish. Man, it's gonna be hard to find a new place to give you lumps. <laughs> you have once? And I did it most recently when uh, Brad was over here. He is apparently a big fan. Stay in that ship for like hours. What am I supposed to do exactly? This is doing nothing. Oh, do I have to feed it tax? Maybe? Oh, oh, oh. How do I how do I telekinesis? Shit. No, wait. I can't remember how to telekinesis. I'm gonna die. No, that's not. What is? Can't get a good can't get a good grip. towards him? Is that what I'm gathering? Uh 
Before there were any games or anything more than a glorified tech demo. Aha! Yeah, I would say that describes the, the first time I did that shit. Shit. I think I just played like a graffiti game or something like that. <laughs> I got to stand next to a wall and spray paint it, I believe was the deal. And then when Brad was over here, uh, over the holidays, shit. Uh, fuck, this is not good. Uh, I, I played some, like, lightsaber game. And that was pretty cool. I got the idea that if, uh, there weren't somebody around keeping me from, like, running into shit, could have potentially been a hazard. Because it's definitely immersive. Like, you, you sure feel like you're doing it. And thus, you get real into it and start swinging around like a crazy person. And before you know it, you've done broken some of your shit. Possibly, maybe. Beat Saber, oh my gosh. That would be an excellent reason to get a VR setup, for sure. <laughs> no, I, I played like a like a, a, an actual like Star Wars game. It was like lightsaber training or some shit. So I was swinging around an actual lightsaber fighting like training robots. Doing Jedi shit. <laughs> it was fun. For sure. Um, I think I just... As much as I can carry on about valuing immersion, I don't know if I necessarily value that kind of immersion? Where the fuck am I going here? Oh, Fiona needs to go out. Okay. I won't say anything too interesting. Wait, am I going this away? Okay. The, the heartbeat noise is stressful. Can I get some health, please? No! <laughs> Go, 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 go! Damn it! Go! Gonna fucking die. Shit. Get 
Off of me. supposed to do with you Can't get a good grip. do I get, okay so if I get it like trapped in the fucking Beat. If, if I die again, I'm looking up what I need to do here. I I got his, like, fucking face caught in it, like, once. How did I do that? I don't, I don't know, man. I really don't know. Look this up. I don't. Hey. Can't get a good grip. Can't get a good grip. I'm I'm looking this up. I'm getting frustrated and I'm really not in the mood to fucking struggle with this goddamn game this much. I, I did not have a goddamn walkthrough open for this shit. It's not supposed to be that difficult. <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay. Oh. I guess if you just walk up to the goddamn shell, it just gets stuck in there naturally. You don't have to fucking do anything. Which would explain why it just happened without me having to prompt it. <laughs> Watch it. Okay, why isn't it getting stuck like it's supposed to? Get off of me! Watch Hunt? It. Okay, it's not happening! It's not happening. It is not happening. 
It is unequivocally not fucking happening. Just, just getting my ass beat. Just getting my ass beat. It's not. Okay. Did I, did I misunderstand this? Stand behind an open oyster, behind the top part of the shell. Okay, so I do have to stand in a certain spot. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Alright, so if I stand here, supposedly... Okay, nope, nope, good. Good, just, just, just gonna get killed again. What do you mean behind it? Like directly behind it? There we go. Fuck you. Not need to be this hard. <laughs> Fuck you. Ah, oh, poor little thing. That poor little thing just tried to kill me about eight different ways. Well, that's not its fault. This was once just a normal sized lungfish. <laughs> Minding its own business in a mucus lined air bubble beneath a semi dry lake bed. But judging by the work done on it, I suspect Mori has mutated it, accelerated its growth, and has placed an implant in its brain to make it do his evil bidding. Whoa. Poor little thing. Yeah, go inside there and try to smash the implant. Use the psycho portal I saw you steal from Sasha's lab. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. That works on big scary monsters? Oh, monster schmonster. That thing's more afraid of you than you are of it. Now get in there! I do not want to do that again. <laughs> I, I, re I remember hating that. Health. Give. value like that kind of sensory immersion over like I guess what you could call narrative immersion Ah, top of the morning to you ma'am and good day to you officer of lungfish how are you today oh damp and happy can't complain and what are you and the wee one up to on this lovely day oh just obeying the law as always all <laughs> posted directives followed to the letter ah good to hear not a one of us want any trouble that's for sure <laughs> I, 
I do remember this, but I didn't remember when it was. Apparently it is now. <laughs> You get to be Godzilla. Oh no! God hey, Gogalor! 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 Excuse me. Were you talking to me? Ah, <laughs> ow! My ears! I'm sorry. Ah, oh my god! Ah. Are you okay? He's dead. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. Don't worry. Every member of the Resistance is prepared to die fighting the tyranny of Kochamara. What's Kochamara? He's a giant monster like you, Gargalore. He brainwashed and enslaved <laughs> almost everyone in Lungfishopolis. That stinks. So, hey, have you seen any other humans around here? I'm looking for a girl called Lily. The government archives might have some information about your young girlfriend, Gargalore. Yeah, I don't know if she's really my girlfriend. I mean... I think she... I only meant that she is your friend who was a girl, Gagalore. To access the archives, we must first like, destroy the broadcast like tower Kochamara uses <laughs> to control the populace. Check. I'll go smash that then. Wait, Gagalore. In order to reach the tower, you'll need to pass through that wall of lasers. But you'll never make it through the lasers without our help. So are you gonna start helping soon? First, I need you to do something for the resistance. Punch a hole in that prison and free my comrades. Kochamara, save what? us! Freedom! 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 Who are you? Freedom! Well, how about getting me past those gates? Right. We stole the shield power module from Coach Amara. It's too big for any of us to operate, but it should work for you. Freedom! Is this gonna upset Kochamra and all your little brainwashed neighbors? No! I doubt it. Uh, no, no. So, knocking yeah. down the prison and then breaking this laser shield thing? Nobody's gonna get mad about that and start shooting at me. No! Uh, maybe one guy uh. would. But what is even an entire navy of lungfish against the might and revolutionary zeal of Gogalor? Wait, what navy? Meet us at the dam, Gagalore, <laughs> for freedom! Freedom. Use your psychic shield to protect you from, some, from damage and reflect some enemy attacks back at the attacker. Note, you will not be able to maintain a psychic, sh the, a psychic shield forever, and when this part of your mind is exhausted, you will need to wait a while before you use it again. Okay, so there's a cooldown, I guess. Kochamara! Oh, sorry. Help! Ooh. Oh, it's a bag. Uh-oh. The peaceful city of Lungfishopolis is under attack tonight by a hideous, gigantic monster the terrified citizens have named Gogolo. The Navy Gogolo. has responded quickly and decisively, <laughs> dispatching its entire tank division to neutralize the creature. Soon, authorities say, everything will return to normal or better. Kidnapping human children is good. Kidnapping human children is good. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. <laughs> this guy needs a duffel bag tag. I, I know. Can I, can I love this? I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think that's gonna work. No. It's Gogolo! I am children. What are you talking about? Ow. So, uh, what I mean about... Like, sensory immersion versus narrative immersion. This is loud. Let me fucking... Screechy and loud. What is shooting me now? Hold on. That wasn't the orphanage. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, are we done for the moment? My goodness. So like, for example, the tribunal in Disco Elysium. That was incredibly immersive and very stressful. Well, things have gotten a little embarrassing for Gagalore. Recently surfaced information has strongly linked the previously intimidating monster with common <laughs> low-life criminals. Earlier tonight, Gagalore broke some of his jailhouse cronies out of the slammer so they could enjoy a night on the town, oh popping goodness. pills and soliciting inexpensive call girls. Well, <laughs> they're in for one nasty hangover. Our beloved Navy has come up with a high-tech new invention. Trucks armed with hyper for electricity. Kidnappy Ooh. children do not harm the brains. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. So, think about what what had me so stressed out from a sensory standpoint in in that particular segment of that game. Uh, it was largely still images. Pick up tank. Ooh, I want to try that. It's still images and text. And some voices. And some, like, fucking dice rolls that you don't even actually see. Hello, Alex. I, I should maybe start over with that thought, because I, I kind of want your input on it. I was saying with regard to VR, why I'm not necessarily in favor of it and why I don't necessarily think it's like the future of video games or whatever is I, I kind of prefer narrative immersion to sensory immersion and I was talking about the tribunal in Disco Elysium and how that was like really immersive and stressful even though all you were getting were like these mostly still images and some voices you know and some roles and text and that is what had me so stressed out whereas yeah vr could accomplish that same sort of you know stress and immersion by like making me feel like i was actually maybe about to get shot or whatever in a more like realistic kind of way but i don't necessarily think that's better um in like an artistic way, in a gameplay way, in a fun way. I don't necessarily think that's better. How do I like put it away though? Can I just put it away? I don't think that's gonna work. <sighs> okay. I figured out how to put it away. I don't want to complain, but the charmer should do something! Holy smokes! Those goggles are 5,000 meters tall! Ow! I'm gonna get hit! Man, I'm gonna get set all the way the fuck back. I saved kind of recently. You're lucky we can't own guns, Gogalore. I can't remember how to use my psychic shield. Okay, so I just like select it? Okay. Yeah, I'm aware that I only have one, uh, but, but one life left. I am quite aware. Thank you. The destruction and terror continue as the hulking, godless child beast carves a bloody swath through our helpless city. Our noble, all-volunteer navy has been surprised only by the senseless lust for mayhem that seeps from the twisted black lump of a heart in this creature, still known only as Gogalore. Though it loathes violence in all its forms, the navy has no choice but to activate its anti-monster turrets, which it guarantees are 100% monster-proof, not get caught stealing children. 
That's a game over. Okay, do I just have to like start over then? I don't know. Let's see what that what that does. Poor little thing. Uh so like uh, do you get what I mean? Like that like sensory immersion versus narrative immersion shit. I feel like that's not necessarily better if you're making something more lifelike. I mean, I feel that way about graphics too. Like I prefer more cartoony looking like these, like this art style. I prefer that to like hyper photo realistic fucking like see every pore kind of fucking graphics. That's not really my shit. That doesn't necessarily make for a better game. And I feel the same way about VR. Oh, and, no. To me, Not like, the idea that face. something by virtue of being more realistic and more lifelike and immersive in like a sensory way like by virtue of that it's just automatically better i don't think that's true at all but furthermore i think that thinking sucks <laughs> actually I'll, I mean, if, you know, if that's just your preference, I suppose that's one thing, but you need to be able to actually argue that. If it's, if it's not a preference for any reason other than, oh, obviously, more realistic, you know, more detail, more lifelike is better, because... Like, I, I don't necessarily, like, I don't want to fucking just feel like a video game is just real life. It's, it's not necessarily an improvement to me. Please don't kill me, Gogglor! And I, I feel like if you're trying to escape the sort of, you know, traditional person looking at some kind of screen, holding a controller or using a mouse and a keyboard situation, if you're trying so hard to escape from that, you, you maybe don't like video games that much to begin with? I don't know. Oh, shit. Okay, I can't go that way, apparently. <laughs> I'm not sure that's that's necessarily true, you know, maybe it's- uh, maybe I- I need to expand my view of what a video game can be and what a video game is. It's like I was saying, Brad really likes this shit. He- he really, really likes it. Does this shit for like hours at a time. It thinks other stuff doesn't compare anymore. Uh, you know, that's cool, but he's kind of the why, God like, God Lord, first and only person that I've personally known that felt that way about VR after having tried it. And I know a lot of people who have tried VR and just weren't immediately sucked in like that. Um, and even he said that it, it took some getting used to. Like, it took him a while to- man! I could have come up here and gotten this. I don't think you lose anything by getting kicked out, but regardless, that's irritating that that's up there. Oh well. You think most people would agree with that? You mean what I was saying about like video games being a certain way and. or just like. That more more lifelike is not necessarily better. And even the people who are really into that kind of sensory immersion often don't want it every time they game. Yeah, that too. And maybe that's it. It's like, you know, it's a certain kind of gaming experience that's maybe just not so much for me. I just, I don't appreciate the attitude that, like, 
this shit is, you know, of course the future, and of course better. Because it's, you know, kind of dissimilar to a, a traditional gaming experience. Like, I don't think that necessarily makes for better storytelling, really. That's kind of, that's really the best way to summarize why it's just not that important to be lifelike. Does lifelike make for better stories, always? No, of course not. Why does it pay me electrocuted? In fact, it often works, uh, you know, the counter to what you would like it to do. Realism is not always better. Really, I, I can count more readily the number of times I've seen added realism to a story, to an art style, to whatever go wrong than I can count the ways it's gone right. Okay, I think I've figured out my shield. Out. Gogolo, what are you doing down here? I'm trying to get to that Kuchama Tower thing so I can smash it. The laser tunnel, Gogolo. We have to get through that or we'll never get to Kuchamara Island. But I thought... There is no I in T, Gogolo. Yeah, but there's an eye in Squish, so watch it. I'll go take out your laser tunnel, but then we're gonna talk about who's running this revolution. Ow! person personally who fucking love VR like no! that. No! Not the Natural History Museum! Like, for, for whom VR had replaced almost entirely more traditional gaming experiences. That's very rare. Jesus! Regenerating. Where are you fucking coming from? I swear to God. Why are you so much fucking like the the tank should not be nearly as fast as I am. Like at all. I swear I saw the tag for that bag somewhere. It's up there. How do I get up there? Aha! I don't even think that's the purse over there. It's the duffel bag. Okay. Some help. That'd be great. 
change all that much. I think we might be hitting a sort of a It's Gogolord! He hates children! <laughs> if not a wall, at least like a point of diminishing returns on that shit. How do I go through the laser wall? It's gonna give me, right? Yeah, so like what do I fucking do? How do I turn that off? Don't I have to like shut off the power to it or something? Hey everyone! Here comes Cochamera! Uh, no! Wait, it's Gogalore. Run! Um Bullets don't hurt him! <laughs> Not very much anyway. Well, I guess the bullets weren't really hurting, it was the, uh, <laughs> missiles. Missiles can hurt Gogalore. Um. <laughs> Yay. Okay, I don't know what I need to do. I don't think that's gonna work. I, I just wanna- gonna... I just wanna go faster. <laughs> I actually think that sort of not like I said not really a wall but point of diminishing returns is actually what has caused gaming to sort of flourish as an art form in more recent years because we kind of like we have a medium you know like it's it's it looks a certain way it operates within a, a certain set of boundaries there's certain ways it can be and now people are able to you know innovate on that return to older things that worked Older things that inspired to get to that them. Camera tower thing so I can smash no! it. A laser Not tunnel, Gogolor. We have them. to get through that or we'll never get to Kachamara Island. Okay. Ah! Cool, but like, what do I do, though? This one. That doesn't look Good any Lord. more helpful. He's impervious to bullets and love. And love. <gasps> I don't. I don't know what I need to do. At all. the fucking shield in the goddamn laser time. I didn't think it was like a pulse thing. I thought it was just you go in and lasers. You know? God damn it. <laughs> no! 
like in film, for example. You know, early on you had big technological You're lucky innovations. You can't own guns, Goggalore. Sort of it changed the game and changed the face of the art form for everybody. Oh, did I explode it? Hey, cool. Eventually, all the movies were in color and, you know, relatively capable of capturing the same good quality, lifelike images. Yeah. And now you're kind of at a point where, if anything, technology Freedom! is an impediment Freedom! to good film. No! Freedom! So, this big monster, is that the best you could do? We were short on time, and he is good at smashing things. Doesn't look like much to me. <laughs> Come on, let's blow this joint. Hey, you're welcome. Sorry about him, Gagalor. He's been in prison a long time. He's the only <laughs> pilot the Resistance has, and he has an excellent plan. Meet us at Does the dam so we can put it into action. Oh, that's a duffel bag tag, I think. Yeah. Is that a bolt? Gotcha. Lungfishopolis under siege. Doodly doo. Oh no! It looks like a luchador. I'm not sure what exactly is giving me luchador there, but it is. Or I guess they have wrestlers and masks in Japan too. They reckon they call them something else. <laughs> I don't know what, though. If I'd have known this part of the game was coming up, I might have been better prepared, but... Like I said, I, I kind of remember everything that happens chapter-wise, but not in what order. I thought this was maybe closer to the end. But it looks like it's actually kind of closer to the beginning, really. I don't think I'm even like a third of the way into the game yet. Maybe about that much. Where was that fucking duffel bag? Good Shamaro, save us! There you are. purse yet? I think I did. Though I, I truly do not recall. That's what that sound is. It's my shield recharging. Ha! Ah, now you see the genius of our plan, Gogalore. First we print flyers, then we spread them all over town with my blimp. Winning over the hearts and minds of Lungfishopolis in as soon as six months. Six months? You don't like our plan, you can come up with another one. Yes, we are busy. We have to select cardstock and then find a decent but inexpensive printer within the week. Save. Okay. What the fuck am I doing? What? 
up with a better plan than the pamphlets yet? Yes. It's called Turn In Gogolor for Reward. Careful, my chai tea! Oh, shit. Knock it off! Hey! Eh? Fuck. Quit it! We don't have a replacement blimp, you know. There we go. Can I get on the thing? Use the blimp to get over the dam. That wasn't exactly how I was thinking that was gonna happen, but it's probably fine. <laughs> I do. That's the hat box one that I got. <laughs> I think maybe part of the growing up that video games had to do as an art form not only to just like develop as an art form but to be taken more seriously as an art form in the mainstream it was like get to that point where you had all this technology and all this capability and all of this, uh, you know, you were able to make, like, hyper-photorealistic, even, like, immersive VR shit if you wanted to, but instead, uh, you know, maybe partially due to budget or whatever, but it, in large part due to just artistic choices, people are deciding to make more, like, retro-looking games or more, you know, somehow classic-feeling games, and... It, doing that as a choice, even though you could do some, like, photorealistic shit. It's just, like, it's an artistic decision. And for a while, that's not really... I mean, games have always been like that to an extent, but I think now, more than ever, it's, like, a choice to not go with that style. And I think... Video games came from, like, like when I was growing up, and I mean, I'm, I'm sure to some extent this is still true, every time new consoles were on the horizon, people were, like, comparing everything's specs. It was such a dick measuring contest, and you don't get that kind of shit in other art forms. Just, like, the notion that, like, this console is better than this console because tech reasons you know, that kind of superiority because tech attitude, that's not as, as prevalent in like film or music or anything else. So that I, that's what I'm trying to say is like, that that's part of the maturing that video games had to do as an art form is sort of escape that like better tech is better mindset with regard to its art, you know? What'd you say here? I don't think uh, gaming as an art as an art form really needs much more in terms of interfacing technology. Yeah, I agree. Maybe just more tweaks to what we have now. Yep, I agree. No other art form has a hard requirement on programming. Yeah, exactly. And like thinking about where gaming can go, really. I mean, there, there's already people that are uh, irritated with any sort of motion controls. Like, they don't want any of that shit. Um, you, I, you cannot count me among them. I, I like good motion controls. Um, honestly, I even liked the, the, the first iteration of the Wii. I had so much fun with just, like, Wii boxing. Fucking... I, I had fun with the controls in Skyward Sword, even. People bitched about those all day. It didn't really uh, trouble me too much. I, I did indeed uh, break one of my favorite glasses during 
the first Irahim fight, because I suppose the controls were a bit much to wrangle, but I, I had a lot of fun doing it, so <laughs> there's something to be said for that. Motion controls in particular need some tweaks. I For sure, they, they can definitely be refined, but uh, even as they're getting better, like for example, I think the Switch motion controls are, are very good, um, at least the ones that I've encountered. And uh, the, the idea that someone could like experience that in a game and be like, no, even this is, is not good enough, not even tolerable, I don't want this shit at all, I just want to press my buttons. I can't really understand that, but the fact that people like that exist and not in a small way, I think is indicative of the fact that we're not gonna see, like, full migration to fucking VR, for example, anytime soon. Oh, shit. Hey, give me that help. like but I could also go that way I 
have been a shortcut. We're I don't here know. with the star of the popular sitcom Trouble in the Bubble, Buddy Finn. Buddy, what's your take on the Gogalore situation? Is he just misunderstood? No way! I hate Gogalore. I can't imagine anyone of my fans siding with the monster. He hates everything lungfish care about. Air, water, family, the economy. Buddy, I hate the economy. The Navy has decided to pull out what they're most famous for. Airplanes. <laughs> so rest assured, we can all look forward to Gogalore's imminent death. And to seeing you, buddy, every Thursday night at 8, right here on LBC. Thanks. And I'd just like to add that if anyone kidnaps a human child, they should take them quickly under the lake to the abandoned insane asylum. Gogalore, come in. We have commandeered these vessels in your name. We can put them in position to help you cross Kochamara Channel to get to Kochamara Island and destroy Kochamara Tower. The thing is that, um, although we have the utmost faith that you will soon contain the area, Gogalore, we, uh... uh we just think it best to do where, uh... We've decided to maintain our position out here. Just until you clear the area of all hostiles. Uh-huh. Yes. For insurance reasons, Gargalore. Yes, yeah. that. Yeah. And for freedom. Freedom. I, I have to pee. And unfortunately, you're going to have to sit in abject silence until I return. I, I feel terrible. But if I play any of this shit, it's probably gonna get like copyright claimed or something. More than likely. Do I have anything that wouldn't? <laughs> Man, I really have to pee. Oh, here. This is probably pretty unlikely. To get claimed. Uh, okay, now I'm just wasting time. Like, I, I probably could have been back by now. <laughs> Here. I'll be right back. talking about the Megan and Dua Lipa song. Did I, like, without even realizing it, use the phrase candy bars?
like without even trying to make it a joke. I just meant like, like the bars. Like, like rhymes and they were about candy. Like I wasn't even trying to be cute with it. I'll have to go back and listen. I hope I did that. <laughs> Yeah, the, the game is alt-tabbed out of, so it's it's probably frozen. No, I'm not done. Sorry, I just went pee. <laughs> I guess you left the room for a moment. I figured I'd let the song finish. It's almost done. I just had to pee and I didn't want to leave it totally quiet. Oh, you're running the vacuum too? Yeah. Yeah, I bet you couldn't hear nothing. I was saying, I think I like unironically with a straight face, not meaning to be funny at all, used the phrase candy bars with regard to some of the shit Megan was rapping about in that song I played hers and Dua Lipa's earlier, but I was just talking about the rhymes with candy in them. I didn't mean, and I was saying I hope I did that. <laughs> Get off of the thing! I thought about is like whether or not you would want VR kind of depends on why you're playing video games in the first place. Like somebody who's interested in, in video games specifically as a storytelling medium like I am predominantly, VR is not necessarily gonna be your shit. Like obviously. And actually I'm not sure if, I, I don't think, like Brad is a huge consumer of fiction, a, a voracious reader in particular, but really any any kind of story, like he'll watch a TV show, he'll watch a movie. I'm actually not sure he's particularly interested in- like, am I just gonna keep face tanking the fucking planes until I kill enough of them? I guess that's my fucking plan, since I can't even seem to get to the top of one of these fucking things without getting wrecked. Alright, cool, good. Great. Excellent. Give me the help. should not have to chase the health. The health should not be a thing that I have to chase down. Fuck. 
Remem just remembering how much I hated that. I'm smashing everything on this island. I want all of its health nuggets. Every single one. Stop getting on the thing. Stop getting on the thing. I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> Okay. This should be enough to face tank another two planes. Since apparently that's what I need to do. I'm trying to think about... I'm not sure what Brad's favorite games are. I know we've talked about this shit before, but like I was the person that introduced him to Zelda, and I don't know if that's a big like narrative driven game or anything. I don't know. I guess I need to talk to him about that. Uh Okay. Th there's just whatever. Just, just let another one hit me. I, I really just want this segment to be over with. Yep. Great work, losers. Now, Kochamara himself will have to come all the way down here just to save our worthless hides. Authorities are calling for a big parade in Kochamara's honor after he clobbers the annoying giant Gagalor. And if the parade is big enough, Kochamara promises not to destroy the city. Brush teeth more often don't do so much. <laughs> games though there's a lot more to the storytelling there than just describing the plot that happened I mean the, the same is true of the film I guess too but you don't have an interactive element in film Give up while you I can, Gagalore. I know it's you in there, coach. I don't know what your 
you're broadcasting from, but I'm gonna find out and make you show me what happened to Lily. Oshamara does not speak giant monster boy language. The only word you're gonna need is ouch. My oh, fuck. Oh my god. Nope. Hey. My Ow! Ow! Cunt! My Hello? Is it better? All better? Wait, is the audio working in the game too? I think the issue was I had the volume mixer open for the speakers and not the audio interface last time when I was struggling with it. I think that's what happened. Okay, cool. All right, good. I think that was just kind of a fluke on my part. 
All right, so this it's, 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 Psychonauts is not special with regard to fixing the audio. That was kind of a tongue twister. I, I shouldn't feel too bad about stumbling over that. <laughs> well, why don't I help you? Let it all out. <laughs> Nothing. I guess he's vulnerable after doing the area attack? There was nothing to indicate that at all. Avoid area attack! Overly intricate combination! Okay. He becomes not okay. Avoid area attack! Okay. I get it. I get it.
wait for your shield to fall off. <laughs> it would have been so good there. I can't tell you what it is. I, I told Alex. <laughs> Can I climb now? Okay. There wasn't anything over there, was there? Climb, climb, climb. Climb, 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 climb. Fine, take control of this freaky toad. I don't need him to nab children for me anymore. I've got the brain of a little girl back in my lab that's strong enough to power a whole army of psychoblaster death tanks. Huh? <laughs> what? You've got the brain of a little girl? <laughs> I said, in my lab! I think you've got the muscles of a little girl, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, good one. Oh, you like Gogglor now, huh? I bet. Human child. <laughs> Who is that? It is I, the creature whose spirit was once, um, <clears throat> over here. Behind you? Yes. Oh. The creature whose spirit was once enslaved by the evil one. You have unchained my soul. And now, I shall repay you, powerful human child. Oh, uh, great. Well, okay, show me what you did to my friend Lily. By the drowned spirit of Oblongata, it is done. <laughs> That's a brain word. It's the second half of Medulla. I usually just say Medulla. Or Medulla. And then we ask. When it is your wish to travel across the lake, you may return to either shore and summon me with that. Thanks, Hulking Lungfish. You know, you really aren't as hideous as people say. You may call me now by my true name, Rasputin. The name given to me by my people. And what name is that, noble lake creature? Linda. Right. What a magical <laughs> lady. Linda. For. What? Uh, I'm with the Psychonauts. The who? Oh, that doesn't fit in. That doesn't fit in at all. Maybe I've got this all wrong. Okay, okay, but huh? Keep sparring. Who do you work for? 
I'm the guard. I've been fully trained. Uh, and? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those eggheads in their ivory tower. Of the teat of the dairy industry. Mm. What? Guess I'm, I'm locked, locked outside. On the outside. And I'm locked on the inside. I just thought of something. Hold on. Sorry, this is... Not relevant to anything I'm doing right now. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Shit. I scheduled a doctor's appointment before I saw my schedule for this week, and I'm not used to opening, so I made the appointment during a time when I thought it would be fine. That's probably all right. I need to figure out what to do about that, though. I don't want to have to reschedule. She's pretty busy these days. Oh, God damn it. about that later it just it just kind of popped into my head very suddenly like hey we have a doctor's appointment next week and for whatever goddamn reason you're opening like five days tuna calories <laughs> and I pick who lives who dies what the football scores are going to be every week how long do they think they can hide that and then it comes out of those wires over there and goes straight into my head with all its little audio tricks. Oh, okay, okay, but how many are there? I count 14, but that's not the number on my hand. That's oh, not I the can, number on I my can head. can levitate again, can I? Wait, no? The intelligentsia with the full blood. Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Okay, why can't I bind that to anything? I can't bind the the left trigger button. The, the, the triggery or one. With the backing of Can I just like bounce my ass in there? Intelligence can Dialing in through the optics. Okay, okay, but uh, if I know anything, I know that they do this horrible thing, but in conjunction with me, or me, what? <laughs> G-Man, who are you looking for? Who's G? The five richest families in the country. Shit, 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 shit. What? I just want to go back so that I can gain my fucking level or whatever and get- Like, this is extremely distracting, this shit in the corner. Like, there's not actually- this isn't on a fucking timer, like, it's not- <sighs> Like, right? I, I don't know, I'm gonna save and fucking try to get out of here. <sighs> fucking- Okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh. I have not learned to think of that as a way to solve puzzles or advance things yet. I have to use the little mine door on uh... Hey, if 
you blow that thing on the beach, then our hulking lungfish friend is going to come out of the water and take you to the other side of the lake. You sure you want to do that? Yes? I mean, I can get back, right? What's up, Linda? Prepare yourself for passage, human child. Um, um. Happily looking around my office because it looks so much better. <laughs> I didn't realize how badly I needed to like fucking tidy up, gussy up, etc. in here. Doesn't he have a. I swear he's got like a stump thing. Such that I wouldn't have to go to a whole different part of the map to do his shit. Maybe not. Uh oh. Okay. Fine. I guess that's what we're doing. Mauled by fucking mountain lions and shit. I got some frames. I had to like custom order them because uh, the things I was wanting to get frames for were strange sizes. So two prints of the skulls. What? Where was I? Skalsa timeline? What on earth? Tulsa skyline. For fuck's sake. <laughs> and uh, I decided to frame my master's degree. Where would you like me to take you, Agent? Kruger? Also a weird si size. I think of things like. 14 by 17 inches. Yeah, you're not gonna find a frame that size chilling out on Amazon or whatever. Let's go to Ford's, I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. Same with the two prints. I think they were like 11 by 18 and 11 by 18. In recognition of your something. hard work, dedication, and mental agility. I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for invisibility. Okay, let's play a game. Look out! Another sensor! Oh no! You're out of ammo! No, I'm not! You are now! Here are the rules. Take this guy out. But if he sees you at all, you lose. Go get him! Hey! Where'd he go? Careful now. Oh. Okay, let me repeat myself. Here are the rules. <laughs> I Take didn't realize it had a timer. But yeah, if he all right. you at all, you lose. Go get him. Wait for it to pull Punch. up again. It never hurts in situations like this to be invisible. <laughs> hey, where'd he go? Eh. Oh, well done. Uh, I don't have to be sneaky. Invisibility. <laughs> I think I've heard the kids around camp refer to this technique as uh, silent but deadly. Uh... 
Rasputin, come up here. There's something you should see. Son. Oh, Can't even shit. make a connection with Sasha or Mia right now for some reason. Sasha said he had some official psychonauts business. Impossible. I would know it if they did. No, something's happened to them. Rasputin, listen. You're the only one who can stop Oleander now. What about you? I... I can't leave this cave, Rasputin. Not as the Ford Crawler you know. What? Why? Years ago, I was in a terrible psychic duel that left me barely alive. Yeah, I read about that. They said your psyche was shattered, that you lost your mind. But you seem fine to me. Yes, when I'm down here near the Sartanium Motherlode. The concentrated power of the Sartanium pulls my thoughts together, keeps me like my old self. But if I leave this sanctuary, my psyche becomes disjointed, and I fall into one of my other personalities, with no memory of who I really am. I'd be no use to you unless you needed something raked or, or mocked. Well, you can call headquarters and get help. The Psychonauts won't listen to me. They wrote me off as a loon years ago. That's why Sasha and Mia have to take on all my missions. Headquarters doesn't know I'm the one behind the assignment, so they'd never get approved. But Sash and Mia seem to be out of commission now. You have to be my field agent, Rasputin. Are you ready? <laughs> uh, for old time's sake. No, not yet. How about <laughs> now? Oh, that shit's still funny. <laughs> it's, it's one of the best but thou musts in video game history. All right. Yes. Good. You have to find where that monster took the girl. And if you locate any of the other children's brains along the way, bring them back to me for recranialization. Understand? Ew. I mean, yes, sir. <laughs> I put that in a video. I can't remember which one. Who? <laughs> Maybe the amygdala one? Just that. Cause I did. I did know that old man was gonna slap me. I felt it in my bones. He had he had slappy energy. I don't have enough side cards to make a new side challenge marker. Still? Huh. I guess I've not picked up a lot of them. I think I think those frames are supposed to get here tomorrow. And at that point I will be done redecorating my office. Which is not something I had planned to do. I just ended up siphoning off a lot of my decorations to decorate the hookah lounge. Just because the shit I had in here would have worked there. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? And yeah, in the process of uh, cleaning my office and clean up around the house, I discovered I have other things that I could frame that could go on my walls. Should have been made to get framed for years. <laughs> Excuse me. Like, I've had those prints of Tulsa since I was 18. Oh. <laughs> uh... Me outside the main Can lounge. I buy oh, bring me back a burger some, this time will some you? candy in the middle of the night? I don't know if I can. Let's find out.
Oh, I got a mirror too. That's right. Oh, guess hey, it's here. anything new in the store? Take a look. Now with that, now, mmm, dream fluffs, delicious, I'll nutritious, excellent choice. What else gonna do you for? Excellent choice. What else gonna do you for? That's it All for right. now. All right, go get more air. Cool. I did not realize how badly I needed to clean up in here. I really hadn't done like a deep clean on the office but pretty much since we moved in. Shit. Okay, now I need to go back to Lake. Shit, 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 shit. Ah. Yep. I feel like I could never figure out the best way to actually get to the fucking lake. Like, this was always a thing. Because <laughs> there's no hopping onto this pathway. It's really just you have to go to the back of the, lo the lodge and yeah. I had fucking probably a good 10, 15 pounds of paper to recycle. It was like graded quizzes and articles and just school shit. Some like general paperwork otherwise, but mostly school shit. And that was just like trash taking up space in here. Like, it just seems bigger in here now, and I, I really, like, it, it's, I didn't really do much, I don't feel like. Yeah, looks nice. And it's gonna look even, I have too many items to fit on one page, okay. That's fine. What's up, Linda? Prepare yourself for passage, human child. Yeah. That was also part of the reason I was putting off filming, even though I, I could theoretically do that soon. This did not feel right. I think it feels more right now. I need the door. I guess the background's gonna look a little different now. As I move the Moe's poster over a little bit, and I'm gonna have the Tulsa skyline stuff like pretty much immediately behind me. My, my degree is gonna be in front of me. near the desk. That'd be sort of lame to like put that in the background of your fucking YouTube video anyway. <laughs> Not that I'm terribly fond of the idea of staring at it while I'm here at my desk, but I don't really look up there too much. I look more uh, to my right here, which is probably my favorite wall. And it's got another print that I hadn't gotten framed. A couple things that I made and a little poster that Alex got me. A little fail faster poster is there. Yeah, that's gonna look good. I think they were supposed to be here today, those frames. But I got delayed. Not another tracking device! Who knows? Oh, in the mirror. I was saying I got a mirror. Uh, that's mostly just for, like, whip dancing. I mean, it's otherwise just a mirror. I'll probably use it for 
makeup and shit, I guess, but mostly I just need a way to watch Perfect. myself when I dance. Isn't it? Yes. Almost complete. Just a few missing pieces. Yes, now which piece talks about the milkman? The one who opens the asylum gate? But it's all about the milkman. Can't you see? Is this like one of those 3D paintings? I can never do those. No, you just gotta learn to see it like I see it. There's something in the fridge that might help you see the world like I do. Ooh, sorry. Uh, I don't drink. <laughs> Before noon, I mean. The meaty bit in the middle of this wonton? It's me. I could always do no, those wait. 3D picture things. No, 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 no. It what? basically would come down to like uh, like I crossing my eyes and slowly uncrossing stuff. them. That seemed to work for me. No distractions. Every time. What the fuck is that? Oh, hey. Me and Nick did at least locate our undergraduate degrees. <laughs> they were in the same, like, padded KSU no, folder. No, wait, I mean, chilling out. Who are the puppet altogether. masters of that guy with the eye patch with the backing? I guess of we only had one fancy, uh, oh, oh. have been living off the fancy folder of the dairy between industry. us. Wait, huh. but that's like, fine. I don't know that they. <laughs> oh, right. I want to get out of here. I just want to get away from you. You are so stressful. To protect. Did you say the milkman was in the fridge? Use the leftovers in the fridge to see what I see. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. All right. The milkman's dead? Ah, oh, crud. Burned up in a department store fire. Didn't you hear? At least that's what the media would have you believe. This is is the he media. dead or not? Go to the graveyard. Dig him up. Oh, you'll find something, all right. But it's neither man nor milk. I don't want any. Half neither and half. man I'm nor milk. Half and half. Please, uh, just get me careful. away from this man. They're watching all the time. Okay. Just, just please. Now. How am I going to find some creepy rambling. graveyard in this nice, normal neighborhood? I remember being in like a bad mood the first time I played through this. I don't recall about what, but I do remember that. Hey, are you following me? I'm not in a bad mood now, so that's good. <laughs> I think I was mad about some gamer shit, but I don't recall what. Maybe it'll come to me. Okay, how do I get out of here? Oh my god. I, I want to leave. Okay. God. Jesus fuck. I had asked Nick if he wanted to get his degree frame, but he didn't wanna. You got a stop sign? I don't wanna throw that away. I don't wanna throw that away. Okay. Hey, are you following me? Oh, 
I maybe could have goaded him into it, but... <laughs> I think he mostly just doesn't know where he would put it. You could put it up in the bedroom, that'd be fine. That's where he's got his computer set up. Really, my uh, supposed need for an office has kind of outrun itself. This was, you know, I, I was the one getting a doctorate <laughs> at the time when we moved in here. So I was the one that needed more workspace. But, uh, he was the one who had the office the whole time we were in Tallahassee, so... Stop. It's fine. <laughs> Thank goodness it's Friday. Got As long as we both have privacy, it's alright. used to be, I was posted up in the living room, uh, like, in plain view of, of everything for, like, the longest time. The idea of doing that now is, like, abhorrent to me. I think it's really funny. I don't really think I became more secretive as a person. Really, but I don't know. <laughs> I like having a door I can close and all that. Oh, another thing. While we were at our first place after we moved back to Atlanta, I was set up in an actual closet. <laughs> so. Having dealt with the Clothis for several years, I, I suppose. This is part of uh, what I get in return for putting up with that. I rented a place with a friend of ours. I'm getting very disoriented here. Is this where I came from? I think it is, yeah. Okay. Also, the fucking creepy surveillance shit is unnerving. Did I go in here already? I think I did. Okay. Can I fight you? Stop. Or? Road crew workers only beyond the yellow line. You guys are road crew workers? Yes, we work on the road with these red signs. I see. Well, do you guys know where the milkman is? Why do you ask that question? Are you the milkman? <gasps> do I look like a milkman to you? That information is restricted to the road crew. <laughs> Please move along. No pedestrian traffic alone. I just so what? happen to have a red I am sign. On the road crew. Hello, this fellow is my road crew sign. worker. Welcome to the road crew. <laughs> No pedestrian traffic allowed. Yeah, this is easily the nicest my office has looked since I moved in here. Uh, really, I, I can't say it looked that great when I first moved in. I was just so I am enamored with it because lines. it wasn't a closet. Stop. Stop. This is a restricted area. Stop. This is a restricted... Come with us. What? Huh? Who is the milkman? Who do you think you're fooling? What's your favorite color? Where did you get the red sign? What happened inside that house? Shit. Did they take my sign? No. I am on the road crew. This is my stop Hello, sign. Hello, fellow road crew worker. Okay. Welcome to the road crew. Yep. Okay, so Being on a road crew is arduous but rewarding. That only gets me so far, apparently. Uh. 
Man, what did I used to be okay with just, like, being out in the living room? That changed after FSU, which kind of marked a can lot you of hear me? I can listen to any phone conversation that personality I want, changes but do not in the because of my sense of professional responsibility. Stop. This is a restricted area. Oh, oh, can I be invisible, maybe? Or clairvoyant? Is there anyone on the line? Someday, the popularity of mobile phones will make my job stop. This is a restricted what? stop. This is okay, a restricted okay. area. My good landscaping adds to the property value. Stop. This what? is a restricted area. Wait, am I like projecting myself? Stop. What this is a restricted fuck? area. Stop. This is a restricted area. I'm so confused. Oh, okay. What power is that? How is that clairvoyance? I thought clairvoyance was like mind reading. I, I, not like fucking... Teleportation? Which is what this seems more like, but alright. Okay, well what if I like, get up there real quick like though? No, 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 no. no. <sighs> Did I just lose a life? Because of that shit? Are you fucking serious? Being on a road crew is arduous, but rewarding. I am on the road crew. This is my Hello, stop fellow sign. road crew worker. Welcome to the road crew. I'm just gonna save here before I fuck around with the clairvoyance more. Okay, can I? I can't go up, apparently. No, no, no! <sighs> I'm loading. Like, fuck that. <laughs> I work on the road crew. Find the milkman. I am on the road crew. This Slow is my stop sign. Hello, fellow road crew worker. Welcome to the yeah. road crew. Some cookies. I but still I haven't bought have Girl Scout cookies. Milk. Fuck. Do you have any idea where I could buy some milk for my cookies? Ah, creepy man! <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm looking for the milkman. Stop talking to me! You're going to get me in trouble! Huh. Yeah. 
far. Shit is so disorienting. you start a palm bomb, press X as many times as you can before you hit the ground. The more times you press X, the higher the damage, the, the higher the bonus damage, okay? Mm -hmm. Is that, that not a palm bomb? Oh shit, no, no, no! Harsh, man. It's real easy to fall off here. Though I often smell of excrement, I deserve your respect because I provide a valuable service. Of hazardous materials, sewer water is often highly radioactive. 
this job is unsavory, but it must be performed by someone else. This hat box needs a hat box tag. Oh, okay. Guessing I can't go in there. Oh my god, why? Why, god, why? Boyd fired again. Boyd Cooper. Look at him sit. He got canned. Fired from Hernando's? Oh, he didn't take that well. <laughs> Look, he just wanted a stapler. They should have listened to him. Yay. I know I ultimately have to get in there, but hey. remember everything that's involved getting in there. What is the purpose of the goggles? Did you burn down the department <laughs> store? What happened inside that house? What did the rainbow oh, squirt tell you? Oh, it was a department you? store. I enjoy watering. Oh, okay. Find a disguise for the graveyard? Man, I don't know. I thought I could turn invisible. Why can't I do that? Please. Come with what? Us. Oh, okay. Apparently Who that don't the work man? on them. What's your favorite color? What is the purpose of the goggles? What happened inside that house? What did the rainbow squirt tell you? Okay. Uh, did I find your tag? I don't think I did. This hat box needs a hat box tag. Indeed. clairvoyance on an object to see from the point of view of the owner. Okay. What? Excuse me? Just, just for no reason. Just... No. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, wait. Was that why I took out the feather? Shit.
boat crew. Hmm. I'm not getting. Um. Getting okay. it. I must be out of range or something. Okay, if I turn invisible. No. Okay. Project myself or whatever. I don't. I, I I give up. I am not not in the fucking mood to beat my head against the wall this evening. <sighs> You'll need to head through the left gate so that it flips open, then walk towards the rocks until the middle gate opens. And then jump over the left gate so it doesn't close? What? Head through the left gate so that it flips open. Head through the left gate so that it flips open, then walk towards the rocks until the middle gate opens. Then jump over the left gate. Oh, I didn't realize you could fucking jump over that. Well, no shit. God damn it. So as long as you don't walk through it, it doesn't close. Man, I don't... I am a grieving widow. This is my disguise? This is my disguise, apparently. I am a grieving widow. Good deal. Now, if I could only remember where the graveyard is. Um... Post office. I am a bleeding widow. That's not. That's nice. No, I. I might have to go here next, but not 
yet. of his 401k plan. I am a grieving widow. I am your sister in grief. I am, I am your sister in grief. grief. This looks like something I can set on fire. Yes! Burn! I do not Man. know whether to I remarry no one or to remain all this loyal fight. to my loved one. Oh, boo-hoo. Sad widow. What's that? What were you doing in the cemetery? Are you a grieving widow? Where are your flowers? What did you find in the mausoleum? Who is the milkman? Wait, what? That book you found was dynamite. Blows the whole thing wide open. Oh, yes. Okay. yes, I knew it. I was completely wrong about everything, but now. I've got it. That book came from the book depository. They must want to make us think that's where they want us to go. Because they think, we'll think, we know they know we know. So we won't go. So I shouldn't go to the book depository? Of course you're going to the book depository. Take the sewers. Watch out for watchers and radioactives and perpetrators. Some of those sewer workers are involved, I think. You'll need one of these. Now we're talking. It's fake. It will help you fit in around the other assassins. Assassins? Wait a second. <laughs> Beware the cows! Not all milk is enriched. Not all milk is enriched. Hey, Alex, if you're there, can you tell me what that shit that we watched on YouTube not too long ago was? Like, it was that, like, horror shit. I think what the person call it analog horror. I, I wanted to maybe watch that again or look up more shit on it, but I forgot what it was all called and I couldn't even remember the names of the fucking monsters in it. Uh, my memory was failing me drastically. Gemini Home Entertainment. Yeah, that shit. It's called Gemini and the End of the World. Okay. What were the the uh the monsters called? Why can't I remember the name of the fucking Creatures. I remember like all the rules about what you're not supposed to do with the creatures and all of that. So wait, where am I going? Book depository? I, I don't Stop. think I've I've seen that yet. Road crew is arduous, but rewarding. Oh, road crew, right. I am on the road crew. This is my Hello, stop fellow road crew worker. Welcome to the road crew. Wee. Wee. Can you hear me? Is there anyone on the line? Hmm. I Wood crawlers. Thank you. Want, oh my but goodness. But do not because of my sense of professional responsibility. Brain would not summon that. I was like, it was 
some word and then either like stalker or creeper crawler the most pleasant i was close <laughs> yeah that shit was fucking so crazy I often smell of excrement. I deserve your respect because I provide a valuable service. I didn't find the this hat box thing. needs a hat box tag. Plants need to have water poured on them because they have no hands to make glasses of water. Is that the thing? I thought that was a post office, but. I don't really see anything else around that could be that. Yeah, that's a post office. I don't think that's where I need to go. No. Stop. Oh, this come on. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So, oh, oh. Repos repository is that what he fucking called it? I've not seen anything like that around here. Nope. Ah! Yeah, you're you dead. You dead, kid. Yeah, that was like the most I've enjoyed anything horror-y in quite some time. Um, I don't know. I, I think horror as a genre might be growing on me. Like, generally speaking. I mean, when I was a kid, I didn't really care for it because like... My life was already kind of scary, and I just didn't need that shit. Though I, I certainly knew some other kids whose lives were also kind of scary, and they seemed to use horror as a genre, as a genre to kind of cope with that, but that was never my thing. I think I'm just appreciating it more from an artistic perspective here in recent years. Sorry, I'm reading something. Oh. Okay. There's a watering can. If you... Fuck with... And then apparently you can use clairvoyance, which I still just don't- I don't understand this ability. Like how it is being utilized in this game. I really don't. Hey, are you following me? Stop. No, no, no. <gasps> Who is the milkman? Who do you think you're fooling? I meant to what is the purpose? Why did you what happened? What did Kill me? Okay. Yep. Wait, how am I sitting the rest of sequence? Stop, stop. This is a restricted area. Okay, how did it just work in that moment? Two, three, four, one? Oh my goodness. Fucking balloon filling sounds, yeah. Hey, hey, are you following me? 
What was it? Two? <gasps> no! You just have to be real careful with it. Okay, I I think I press B. I have to press A when I'm entering numbers. Stunning. Maybe the Coopers are after the Nitrous Mafia? Possibly. Yeah, I... That is immediately what I thought of that. Suitcase tag. That's what I need here. I just have to deal with the sound of the bag crying. I really hate that. It's like a huge incentive. What the fuck? I don't want to hurt the cameras. They're my only chance of seeing how to get through this basement. Oh, okay. Ah, gotcha. Medicine. Avoid the gravity. Okay. Okay. 
Could you have maybe told me that before I used, like, pretty much all of my fucking potions? Jesus fuck, dude. They gave me way too many powers, like, back to back to back. I have no idea what to use for anything. Like, without explicit hints. to throw them into the gaping hole and that should choke up its system. I have literally no memory of this at all. At all. This isn't even here. What is this? Great. Good. <sighs> Shoot it with side blasts until it spits out bombs and then use tele- I wasted all of my bullets, all of them, and all of my fucking th th health candy. I have no way of killing this thing now because you gave me no fucking hints. <laughs> God damn it, dude. <sighs> okay. I can use some fucking nitrous. That sounds great. Okay. Cool. Good. Where's my last autosave? <sighs> I don't know where this is, but I don't care. I this was the find the out, and we are working no on how long ago did I fucking save? That was a mistake, wasn't it? Look at that woman's breasts. They're large. Uh, wh why is that in this fucking game? <laughs> I feel like there's a number of things in this game that are not going to be in the next game. For many reasons. Uh... I am on the road crew. This is my I am stop sign. Hello, fellow road crew worker. But Welcome to I'm, the road I'm crew. Try and at least get back to where I was. Wow. 
This is my job, to work on the phone lines. I am fixing the telephone lines. Sure you are, bud. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Quietly fuming. It's fine. It's fine. S seen any suspicious characters around here lately? are a token of my remember what were you doing are you where what who yeah, that picks up. A <laughs> I'm sorry I, I am disinterested Did I... I have to get a disguise for that first, right? Pretty sure. That was what I went into the post office for. The fucking code better be the same. I'm gonna be so fucking irritated. I am on the road crew. <laughs> this is my stop Hello, sign. fellow road crew worker. Welcome to the road crew. Whee. That was a mistake. Hello, fellow road crew. Hello, stop fellow sign road crew this. worker. Welcome to the road crew. I knew that was gonna bite me in the ass eventually. Why did I keep doing that? Yep. Oh. Hello. Is there anyone on the line? Uh. Where's the fucking post office? Stop. This oh, is a restricted area. Shit. 
was it? Two, three, four, one. Use that. I am on the road crew. This is my stop sign. No, fuck, 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 fuck. Just press the wrong button. Is speedrun style cutscenes. It's a polite way. <laughs> Referring to what I'm doing here. Okay, it's the same. Shut the fuck up. Please shut the fuck up. <laughs> Come on! What the fuck? I hate it. I hate the crying. It's, it's very, very upsetting. <sighs> hated this shit too. Really, I hated everything about everything I just did and I didn't want to fucking do it again, but here we are. Everything about this fucking segment of this game is fucking I'm stressful. Work in the sewers. Work in the sewers. The camera noises. Just like unsettling. Anxious music. Just I'd like this to be over. Okay, let's let's save. How about we fucking save? <laughs> so this happens regardless, apparently. Because now I know what the fuck to do. Why won't it go to the next thing? Wow. the fuck can do? Cool. I don't know, I'm glad I did that. I have both my fucking candies. I- I'm happier with this. Okay. Now I can go into the fucking sewers. Good God. I'm really sick of pressing the wrong goddamn button. I work in the sewers. Yeah, sure. I'm not getting anything. I must be out of range or something. You hear me pressing buttons and nothing's happening? Fuck, that's obnoxious. No, please! I don't like 
like this part of the game. Serve your respect. <laughs> Hello, sewer worker. They got Freddy. Poor Freddy. He was such a good secret agent. I mean, assassin. Who is shooting at us? It's fake. I'm worried the other assassins are gonna make fun of me. Watch out, fellow figures. assassin. There seems to be someone shooting at us from that tower. people. Adjustments need to be made when firing in the wind. Got I think that's the first time you actually need that thing. It's fake. I'm worried the other assassins are gonna make fun of me. Freeze! Don't come any closer. I'll never tell you the location of the milkman. Never! Okay, let's all just settle down and talk. Ah! The fuck? Where is the milkman? Who is the milkman? What is the mission of the milkman? Did she jump? Come closer. Oh my god. I'll tell you. Holy shit, dude. That's dark. Glad I never bought any of those. The view from up here is pretty good, but I still can't see enough. I need a way to get even higher. Like super high. As if I were flying. I know. Maybe I could find some stilts. Stilts? I guess that's... Stop, helicopter! Land and let me in. I want to see the view from up there, please. Former circus performer. Oh, I, I get to do clairvoyance. Okay. I am a helicopter pilot. <laughs> I like to fly helicopters. We are looking for the milkman. We don't know where he is. Helicopters can go up and down. Man, these guys are dumb. Yeah, Alex, that's, a, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> like, this would be... What's that? I'll bet that's him. Oh, you know what I should have done. Hey. The milkman. Missed opportunity. I was too Helicopters pissy. Helicopters move sideways, too, but not as fast as planes. He's on that remote island over there. What the heck is that sound? Uh, Hello? Is he phone? Who is the milkman? <laughs> Boy, is this you? I think I found the milkman. I have no idea what you're talking about. Who is this? Okay, from now on, your name isn't Boyd. It's Royd. Because you're such a big pain in my butt. If ha! you see the lady tossing your cookies, run away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I have a phone. Can I like hitch a ride on this fucking thing? Get my 
that gun out. <laughs> uh. It's fake. I'm worried the other assassins are gonna make fun of me. Sometimes I work for the government. This is my gun. I do not kill out of passion. Oh, I have to do that to pose as a phone. I am a skilled phone repairer. Oh, come on. <laughs> Fucking Volvagia round two, this motherfucker. Oh. No, none of the critters are real here. They're, they're all bullshit. What do you mean? Those are just birds. Just regular, regular birds. I am a skilled phone repairer. This oh, birds don't do Come that. Where you're from? With us. <laughs> I have a special phone. I can climb telephone poles. Just fucking try to avoid those. How about that? How about maybe just that? I am a skilled phone. Honestly, I'm gonna save again. So I don't have to fight the stupid demon again. Repair it to myself. Come work on the phone lines with us. Operator. Is there anyone on the line? <laughs> Surfing with my phone. I, I'm not. I'm not switching lanes unless I have to. I'm just gonna go. We. Oh. Okay. Cool. Good. Good. <laughs> God. Fucking damn it. Nope. I'm. You bet your dick. I will load that game. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Adjustments need to be made when fighting. Stop, helicopter! I am a skilled phone repairer. Come work on the phone lines with us. <sighs> Operator. Let's try that again. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Come work god. on the phone lines with us. <laughs> It's, it's damn near five in the morning. I should maybe be a little more gentle with myself here. <laughs> oh my god. Okay.
finally got that. I, I reckon I didn't get that sooner because I lost a bunch of goddamn figments when I... <sighs> right. I kind of wish you could have different settings. Like, I need different shit for, like, utility and combat. You know? shit over here, isn't it? Would appear. Just a minute! Ah! They're coming! It better not be that creepy guy again. Ah! What is going on in there? Right there! I'm not even I'm not even fucking around with this. <laughs> I I want to know how to kill her. I am too tired. Clairvoyance, shield, and telekinesis. Okay, I'm like two out of three. Okay. Got it. I think. <clears throat> Ugh. I am you! allergy horse. I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit. Should probably bring the mic a little closer to me. <laughs> okay. and telekinesis.
Okay. I am a skilled I phone repairer. Fashion watch out, fellow assassin. There seems to be someone shooting at us from that tower. Wait. What? Can you hear me? Is there anyone on the line? Wait. I took out the person in the tower. They're not there anymore. Otherwise, I wouldn't have the phone. Need to save as soon as I fucking get off the phone line. <sighs> Too close. I attempted to save again, but it's fine. Okay, what did I fucking need? Shield, which I should probably be using more.
It's not gonna work because I got used to using it with this one, so. Okay. <laughs> Die! This Seriously, how? Okay, how do I, I? I want I want out of the clairvoyance. I don't like this perspective. I don't. I I would like out. How am I supposed to do this? How? I can't hit her even once. don't know <laughs> I want to be done with this I really want to be done with this I, I'm yeah it, no shit it makes it difficult to fucking throw boxes at her I literally can't hit her at all okay great good just have to keep bashing my head into it I guess Ugh. Great. If it kicks me out of clairvoyance, I'm fucked. I probably should do the auto save. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. This is my gun. My motivation. Where's my auto save? Okay. Fine. For you. How is this first part so Yay! simple? No, that's not. <laughs> I'm finding this wrong. It took me fucking three brains to figure out my fucking bindings were wrong. Dead. Like I should just read. I, I'm just. 
just I'm loading this again. I tire, I tire of this world. Boxes explode too quickly, and she hits me with a fucking shuriken or some nonsense as soon as she throws the box. How the f- <sighs> I'm about to have to watch a fucking video of somebody doing this. This is ridiculous. Like, just, just, like, I can't hit her. <sighs> Fuck. It's not hitting her. Like, you're seeing the arrow go directly into my face. It's not hitting her. Is the shit bugged?
Wait, I can just blast her instead? Fuck off, are you serious? I'm obviously just gonna do that. I didn't know that was a fucking option. <sighs> God. I mean, I'll do the first phase like you're supposed to, but... No, no! Findings! Thesis, motherfucker, we're just going to pew pew. Telekinesis at all? Do I even need to do it at all? This is oh my god, I don't remember hating this quite this much. This is just awful. I, I remember this probably being my least favorite part of the game, but I don't didn't remember why, and maybe this is why, I have no idea. Thank you. 
glitch out? What? Have you Those done? two times? He waits! Whatever, dude. It's over. Thank God. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. And the sea shall run white with his rage. I... I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Special delivery today. Milk talk cocktails. Oh my goodness. Fucking very napalm. Yeah, th that whole time, by the I way, we were just inside the security guard's head. Void? Are you okay? Time for the final delivery to this address. Hey, is that milk regular kind? Or the exploding dream kind? It's fortified with what the world wants. What the world deserves. Are you sure you don't want to just fortified with what the world this, deserves? <laughs> he, he gone full joker. Let's just fucking save. Let's at least get to some kind of closure point with the goddamn security guard. Hey boy, why are you trying to burn down the asylum? Uh, I'm not sure he knows. I am the milkman. Right. Is he just gonna be rearing back? Punch jar to free brain. Don't worry, Frankie. I'll put this one right oh, next hey, to Katie's. Oh, hey, right. Excellent find. A fellow cadet's brain. If you take it back to Ford Cruller for recranialization, your total mental health potential will be increased. Oh, that's Yes! I got a brain! <laughs> Finally! Now your ears won't whistle so much when the wind blows. <laughs> no, I meant I recovered a stolen brain. Oh, I know what you meant. Sheesh! You and Sasha. No sense of humor when you're on a mission, hmm? Well, are you gonna come back here so we can recranialize that noodle while it's still al dente? Mm. Okay. I guess he's telling me I ought to go back, but... I mean, there's other... Like, I, I think I know what's next. How many candies do I have left? I think I only used one. Oh, did I get through that without using any of them? Damn. Save's coming. Sometimes it pays. That's another brain. Kitty's brain. You know, I hate to say it, but it is better groomed than the rest of the brains. I'm not trying to fuck with her yet. I know what's I know what's up with that. I'm just gonna look around a little bit. Then probably call it a night here. Hey, cool. Uh, Let's go back. 
back to shore and do level up things. Ouch, that's so gross. We. All uphill from here. And I, I also remember being disappointed because it followed, like, one of the coolest parts of the game. Like, you get Gogalore followed immediately by that shit. Not What's that it's up, not, Linda? like, conceptually and otherwise passage, good. Human child. It is. Yeah. But it's just stressful. <laughs> Like goddamn cords here. There we go. <sighs> oh my god. <sighs> Is there not a fucking stump around here? I swear. Is there not? Crawler stump. Yep. Really? I think there has to be. Cause remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, it's Where right would you there. Like me to take you, Agent Crawler. God damn it. Let's go to Ford's. I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. <laughs> brain besides the whole thinking and feeling they'll be able to do now is that they will be adding their subconscious mental attention to your quest and their energy will increase your mental health potential that Yay. sounds great but is the surgery going to be dangerous nothing's dangerous when you have the right tools messy yes <laughs> but not dangerous and so it's long so story short we're hoping for the best but preparing for the worst well there's only one thing that can make this better Pedicure. See ya. And so that's why, she even seems though fine. she's a girl, and we are good friends, she is not technically my girlfriend. Oh my goodness. Well, I can tell you one thing. My dad is never going to send me to this camp again. Where's <laughs> Kitty? Never mind. I'll find her. <laughs> Agent Crawler? What is the current hey, situation? Hey, wow. I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Oh, Rasputin. shit. I got hella brains now. Good stuff. All right. And I didn't use any of my candy, apparently, somehow. <laughs> so, I guess I'll be okay on that Where for the moment. Where would you like me to take you? Drop me outside the main lodge. Oh, bring me back a burger this time, will you? Oh, I kind of want to get one more. Oh, 
Oh, no. Shit. Hey, anything new in this? Take a look. Now with that, you could now. Mmm, dream fluffs. Alrighty then. What else can I do you for? Can't what hold can anymore. Aww. That's it for now. Alright. Go get more airheads and come Maximum on. Maximum of three? I guess that's fair. Fine. Okay. All right, children. That's gonna be it for this evening. Thanks for coming by. For a nice chill stream. You know, ish. <laughs> I mean, you know, sometimes... I like streaming when I don't really feel that good. Because it makes me feel better. I would say overall I do feel better than when I started streaming, so... Hooray. <laughs> All right. What nonsense did I have to close out with here? Right. This is a very pretty ambient track. It is nine minutes long. Um, you are under no obligation to stick around and listen to it, but I wanted to play it. Just chilling out on this fucking playlist for a hot minute. I was waiting for a good time, and I decided it's a good time, so <laughs> here's that. I will be back with more of this next week. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I do want to do my second drug stream, but I, to, next week is going to be awful for me. I don't, don't foresee that happening, but... Before the end of this fucking game, I swear, I'll do it. <laughs> okay. Enjoy the ambient music. I'll see y'all later. Good night.